There's plenty more where that came from. First quantum, my power be upon you. <laughs> there we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, hopefully, things are fine actually. All right, hey, everybody, it is your Host for Monday Night Blockbuster episode 12. Uh, hang on, let me, uh, so I won't break the illusion. Just a little bit like that, yeah, just a little bit. I don't want that to be completely shut because it gets hot in here pretty, uh, pretty quickly. Hey, everybody! Um, this is episode 12. This is the last, ep this is the last tournament for this season. Before we launch into the the last big grand tournament, which I dubbed Night the Asylum 2, because we had one last year. Last year. Um, yeah, actually, let me bring up who was qualified so far, so I can talk about that during the stream. Um, but yeah, tonight's the, la the final episode, and on top of the person who gets qualified for tonight, uh, for the event, uh, will also get a ten dollar a ten dollar voucher from 86.com because uh, I won that during the first contest I ran for the uh, tight traffic contest and I got third place which was ten dollars so yeah um yeah winner of that winner tonight will get a ten dollar voucher so um but yeah uh also as you might have noticed, uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, I will explain to you what you may not be seeing. Uh, basically, on our Twitch, cha uh, on our Twitch channel, <laughs> uh, I applied for, well, I didn't apply for it, but they, Twitch rolled out a new program called the Twitch Affiliate Program, which helps smaller and mid-sized Twitch channels. Now, the thing about it, is that the requirements that they listed is the requirements we met, which was like 50, at least 50 subs, at least a certain amount of, of, of channel views, and at least three current viewers on your stream. We met all those. I was wondering if we, and I was wondering how long it would take for us to get uh, affiliated with Twitch, um, and it said that it was rolling out like you know the first week, and I figured we won't get affiliated for like another couple of weeks because it's gonna take a long time. Because there's literally thousands of channels. We were very lucky to get um, to get affiliated 
within the first five days. On It happened on a Thursday slash Friday night, midnight. And um, I was working on some stuff for the Twitch channel. And as soon as I logged in, I got a message from some Twitch and a dashboard saying, Hey, we appreciate the work you've been doing. You're awesome. Here, you are now a Twitch affiliate. Let's begin. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah, it, it, when I found that out, I was just so hype. I was so excited. So, we're halfway. This channel is halfway into getting into a partnership, an official partnership with Twitch. Um, and the cool things about being an affiliate is that, as you can see, we you guys can use bits now, um, which we have a little a little mini game for the pregame show is the bit boss basically you put in bits and you become the new boss of the twitch channel um for the next half hour i also put in notification it's like a very simple notification thing on during the game but um yeah no it's it's super exciting um so i'm i'm kind of i need to figure out how to use the bits in terms of like you know how to incorporate into the tournament how to have them displayed on the overlay um but the other cool thing is like we're also getting our own sub button pretty soon. Uh, so every affiliate who gets approved gets their own sub button and one emote uh, they can that people can use. I'm gonna assume that the, the sub button's like maybe like three bucks maybe to sub, which is super cool. It's awesome. I'm like this is awesome. It's so sick. Among other goodies as well. But um, yeah, you, we get it. We get our own uh, emote. So <laughs> I like the first thing I thought of was uh the first email that for this channel i want to get to happen is squiggly i'm not quite sure which version the pixelated or just the clean version regular like version of her um but i want to get a squiggly emote that people can use <laughs> so it'd be super super sick i'm gonna have to hire an artist to do it i'm an artist myself but i haven't drawn in a very very long time i'm not really that confident right now in my in my drawing abilities but I would hire somebody, so uh, it's super cool. I'm super, super excited. Um, which reminds me, actually, I need to update Moobot because people are gonna want to know about the challenge uh, brackets for tonight. Um, but uh, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, that's it's huge. It's it's huge. It's huge for this channel, and it's very huge for me. And as a person who streams on this channel. I do it only twice a week. I aim to stream more on this channel. Just, you know, life stuff happening right now for me. Um, but I'm super excited uh, the future of this Twitch channel and just kind of, you know, what, you know, just kind of going forward. It's just like, oh man, it's freaking great. I have to say, like, a big thank you to everybody who supported the channel since we're on the topic. And probably some of you who are watching on YouTube. Like, thank you for supporting the channel, honestly. Like, at first, it was kind of once a week because I wanted to do just, you know, streaming up the podcast that I do on every every week. That used to be just, just a podcast. Um, and then on top of that, like, you know, eventually when I got more into the Skullgirl scene, I wanted to start something. I wanted to contribute in some, in some way. And when I Blockbuster was born, like, I wanted to do online tournaments and, you know, have people come in and play their game and, you know, have some sort of incentive, like, you know, to play. You know, I can't offer money, per se, although with the bits now involved, I, that might be in their story now. Um, but, like, you know, it just, just having, just having the big support of the Skullgirls community who has followed this channel, who's tweeted this out, who, who you know, just everything, just, it, it's been great. And I, I think I cannot say that this channel would not be where it's at of a, of a big part of the Skull Girls community. And also people who watch this Twitch channel for other reasons as well that, you know, I play game other games on here too as well sometimes. So, you know, I, I, I huge, huge, huge thanks to everybody who has followed this channel and supported, you know, what I do, Monday Night Blockbuster, Mission Star Podcast and everything. Um, I'm super excited. The work's not done yet. I still, I still am very ambitious and I still want to pu push forward because uh, one thing I will say that um, I definitely want Monday Night Blockbuster to be the number one Skullgirls online tournament that people would love to go and play. Beginners, intermediate, experts, whatever. Um, and it, I like to also have it as, as a bridge for younger players like hey, you know, this, this, is, this is a platform you can use to get better and you know 
the more you get better at it, the people, the more people you play, you know, the the more the more time you have in improving. And this is a platform for that. So I am very, I'm I'm very grateful overall, just of everything. But yeah, that's my little thank you speech, <laughs> my uh, Oscar thank you speech. Um, but aside from that. Uh, tonight is the last episode of Monday Night Blockbuster for Season 5. Um, what I was going to say is that uh, whoever wins tonight will get the last spot for Night at the Asylum 2, the big event at the end of the season that I normally held. Um, and just to let you know right now who has qualified so far from this past season, we got our returning champion, Madlock Holmes, Don Hibiki, uh, and it, uh, Nap Pleasure, uh, RT Royal Heart V2, Chuck and Plasma, D Money, GR Morhine, Sparks, Zeddy Beat, Shoya Ramen, and Shuckle. Whoever wins tonight will get the last spot. Um, also, tonight, uh, thanks to 86.com, which we are affiliated with, um, we got a $10 voucher. For that I, I won through a contest they did online recently uh, for the site traffic contest the 86 held and I got third place so I got a $10 voucher which I'm going to give away to the first player for whoever wins tonight's tournament so you get not only qualified but you also get $10 to use for 86 website on whatever you want or combine it with, with you know the $10 and then also with your own money to buy something so yeah, um, that's that's happening. Um, so it's we'll see how it goes out tonight. Um, but uh, so the other thing I'm trying to figure out, going back to the bit thing, is and I think there was a discussion that I uh, was on Reddit and I was kind of going back and forth with uh, Backspace about it. But I'm trying to figure out maybe I can find a way to where um, I can use the bits to add to like a first place like pot or maybe for for like you know towards the end of, the, end of the, uh, the big event at the end of the season i'm not quite sure how exactly i'm gonna approach it yet um but i'm because i remember people when it was first launched like um if you cheered on a player during evo like those bits will go to that player so i think i want to try and do something like that maybe i'm not quite sure um, but, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I had to figure it out, but, uh, the bit system is set up for tonight's stream. Um, it's a for now thing, thing. That's why I see the thing above me as the, the bit boss, which I actually really love. Um, you, you submit some bits, you become the new boss of the channel. Um, only in pregame show though. I'm, I don't have it during the, the main... Uh, overlay for the for the stream only because I feel like it would be distracting Because uh, the main the main meat of this tournament is focusing on our players not so much like you know Hey, I'm the new bit boss, you know, I'm, I donate this amount of money. I'm going to be the new person new boss of this twitch channel so um, Yeah, there's some things I'm trying to figure out um, but uh, overall though. I'm super excited about everything um, So yeah um, also, Fanime is coming up. I'm going for... Let's see, hang on. This actually might be a little louder than me. Hang on. Let me just turn myself up a little bit. Oops. Uh, uh, how, how high am I? Oh, wow, I'm pretty high. Not, not in that sense. Okay. I'll just put myself higher. Let me just turn down the music, I guess. There we go. Just a little lower. Lower, lower. Okay. Maybe higher. Yeah. Um. I was gonna say. Um. Yeah, I'm going to anime this this uh this month. It's officially May. Um. I am gonna work my butt off and getting these costumes done because on the twenty the week of twenty third, I'm actually gonna be in L. A. for a few days for a uh conference for it's called Digital Hollywood, which is a bunch of panels about um. You know the entertainment business in Hollywood, but also it's a place to mingle and meet people and potentially get a job down there in LA because I am a video editor and my end goal is to be in LA, anyways. So I'm gonna go down there, spend a couple days down there, 
and then after that, I'm gonna just head straight to the San Jose for Panime uh, for the Memorial Day weekend, uh, which I will also host Code Girls again for the third, fourth year in a row. Um, I'll be there. Uh, there'll be some NorCal uh, crew up there as well. I'm trying to see if I can get uh, Top 8 on the main stage AF anime, um, but we'll see. I'll have it recorded. The, the gameplay will be recorded on my LGP, um, and they'll have like a camera that records uh, the on stage or you know the other the other part of it, so I can combine and edit it and put out an awesome video. Um, but yeah, like uh, it's uh, a lot of things happening right now. I'm pretty busy, pretty busy man. So. Um, and obviously, you know, the big other thing happening during Fanime is Combo Breaker, which a lot of, pretty much, I would say 70 to 80% of the Skullgirls community will go to. Um, so yeah, if you're going to any tournament and you're a Skullgirls player, you must go to Combo Breaker. Uh, which I think I told some people, but um, after this year, I'm skipping out Fanime for next year. Only because I'm finally going to go to Combo Breaker next year. Because everybody's been telling me for the longest time and been trying to convince me, like, go to Combo Breaker. And I am going to finally make that commitment. So, once Fanime is over, I'm definitely going to be dealing with some life stuff. And just kind of get, getting things together in terms of, like, moving down to LA or in the SoCal area pretty soon. Um, but, in the meantime, I will be streaming more. I will be playing Skullgirls more and other stuff. So, um... But yeah, uh, that's pretty much kind of what's going on in my life and kind of, you know, what I'm looking forward to for the next year or so. Um, and Twitch stuff and whatnot. <laughs> but yeah, um, outside of that, we got 11 minutes before we start the tournament. Let me just double check if who has signed up. Uh, let me go to registration. We got Dagwood Malacombs. GR Moraheim, Meme Fresh, First Name Basis, uh, and Razor, Ninja Razor, signed up. So, two, four, six players tonight. Alright, that's fine. That is perfectly okay. <sighs> okay. Um, but, uh, what was I gonna say? Um,. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I got, I got nothing. <laughs> I've said what I needed to say. Um, so, as far as when the big event is happening, the Night in the Asylum 2 event, um, I want to say because Combo Breaker is coming up, I will have to talk to the players and find a good date and time. Um, because of uh, Because of my new job at IHOP, like, I work on weekends, and I work up to, like, 3 o'clock normally. Um, it has to be at, in the afternoon, like, l afternoon, late night, so I might just have it on, uh, I might just have it on, you know, Monday again, um, on the, for the tournament, um, and then commentate, uh, whoever qualified. But, uh, I'll have to contact the players. Uh, give me a second here. Wait, what do you? What? What the heck? Why is Kyle Herbert going to Game Realms? What? What? What is going? What? Oh, that's weird. Okay, sure. That makes. That is super weird. All right. So Kyle Herbert, the voice of Ryu, is going to Game Realms right now. That's kind of nuts. He's doing autographs. That's weird. <laughs> That's super weird. Alright, sure, why not? <laughs> oh, man. Hello, fellow weebs and uh, furries. Yeah, SG players. Okay, well, first off, one thing. Not all Skullgirls players are furries. A good majority of them are. Wait, am I free? I mean, I do go to pony cons every so often. And I did dress up as Discord. Does that make me a furry? I th maybe? Technically, I guess? Eh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
But no, it's funny. It's like, yeah, they're all weebs. Eh, probably. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, but it's just kind of weird. It's either in the Skullgirls community, either you're a furry, you're a weeb, or you're 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 gay, or you're a, you're just something else. You're a normie, I guess. But I don't know. The Skullgirls community is kind of weird sometimes. Kind of weird. <laughs> I'm like I'm like the straight man of the Skullgirls community. Like I'm literally the straight man. Um. In a sense of like not just gender wise, but just like you know, uh, the 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 person who's like trying to figure things out. I don't know. There's a saying, but the straight man, you know, and you got you know somebody else who's being the goofball, kind of that type of deal. So it's it's just kind of funny to me, just kind of seeing everything how it develops with the community. It's like, hey, I mean, to be fair though, like my my claim to fame in this Code Girls community was. Um, was basically like the whole like what was it <laughs> the the sexual what was it called oh, what, what, what happened like some like I said something on Twitter and then I was deemed the uh, the sexual pol the poli the sexual police guy oh sexual te sexual tension there it is sexual tension uh <laughs> police uh, police guy and I that I, that came to be and I was like all right sure I was just trying to run with it um. <laughs> And that cape, that, 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 that tag was on me for a long time too before everybody just kind of got bored of it. So. Uh, but yeah. Uh, things, are, things, are, things are happening. A lot of games coming out too. I mean, they're always coming out, but fighting games per se. Tonight we get Guilty Gear Rev 2. Next week we get. Oh, this week I should say. We get Injustice 2. And then in a month we'll get, um, actually I should say at the end of this month we're getting them fighting herds. And then next month we're getting, um, what was it, uh, Tekken 7, which looks super sick. My brother's actually going to get it actually. Um, it looks super cool. I love watching Tekken. Tekken's super awesome. Um, I might dabble in Tekken just to check it out. Um, I played a little bit of it. Uh, of, but that, well, I guess, it technically, it wasn't, it was Tekken, technically, but it was, like, Tekken, it was a Street Fighter X Tekken. Uh, my characters were Paul and, Lil, and Lily. I didn't want to try those characters again in, um, in Tekken 7. Um, yeah, Tekken 7 just looks so good. It's, it looks so cool. It looks so good. I love, I love the art style. I love the slow-mo, last hit. It's... It's, it's really cool. It's a really, it's really awesome feature in the game. Um, so yeah, um, I might I might check it out, dabble in it, like I do with other games as of late. But Skullgirls is still my main game. It is, it is my main game, my 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 main heart to a can to be competitive in. So oh, my barb's uh, infinite. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm with you. I'm 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 pretty skeptical about the game too. We should all be actually honestly. We should all be skeptical about that game. Look at Street Fighter V and how that came out. So I'm not sure if Capcom has the the right the the the, the, the right choices or the where I thought to make a very good Marvel's Capcom game. Um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I will try it out. If Spider-Man's in it, I'm gonna try it out because I love Spider-Man. I would have a, I already have an idea in my head like who I want on my team. Like Hawkeye's gonna be on because I had Hawkeye in my Marvel 3 team. Um but you will see. We'll see. Uh, you think the SG scene will get a bump when the physical uh, comes out? Mm, maybe. Maybe. If it's advertised, I would say. Well, even then, I would get a copy. Of my. Man, I wish I. I wish I would have backed that. I really wish. I, it's too late, but I really wish I could back that because I would love to have a physical copy of Skullgirls with me at all times. I know in this new di digital age, like most games, you can just install on the console, but just to have it on hand, just in case they don't have the game, is very useful. I should have, I should have backed it. Man, why didn't I back it? Ah, oh, <laughs> I should have. Um, and I'm Mr. Skullgirls. Um, but I don't think it. Will, it might, it might put a bump. I doubt it. At at this point, like if you are into Skullgirls you'll be already playing the game and supporting it. 
if you haven't played at this point, I don't think it will really sway people to buying it. I think that they'll still see some sales only because, you know, us players and everybody else will still get it for uh, for uh, tournaments and competitive-wise. But I don't think it's going to be much of a bump. What are you? Allied to good. Nightmare to yeah, no, my God, it's cool. There's going to be a premier fighting game right now. Yeah, thank you for playing, j -Hemp. Um, It should be. It should be. Oh, well... Timmy Tomata, you know, whoever you may ask about their game, like they believe that it's gonna be like the main game, you know, and if all the like the, the support behind it. So, you know, I, I enjoy Skullgirls a lot. I love the game. I love the art. I love everything about it, the community and everything else. Um, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm biased to say I want to have Skullgirls in the main event, you know, and showcase it. But obviously, there's other games that I think deserve just as equal as chance. I think Tekken is is a good game. I think that. You know, other games like Injustice 2 that might be coming out looks really cool. Like, I think that, in general, most fighting games are, are good, for the most part. <laughs> there are some games that are not that great, honestly. Um, and have one, and they should have their their chance to be on the main stage at, at some point. So, um, but yeah, like, uh... I mean, fingers crossed. Maybe at at, at Evo Japan, that will be one of the main games. There, there's definitely a big following in Japan. I remember seeing like the 40-man tournament that was held not uh, I want to say two months ago. Um, by Milton and Trogo Blanca hosted the area, which again, shout out to Trogo Blanca for hosting the area for all the Scorgos players to come in and do their, do their thing. Um, but, you know, hey, it, if it happens to be, you know, the main game at EVO Japan, that's super cool. But we get other events like Combo Breaker that kind of treats it as a main game anyways. So, it will stay alive as long as we keep spawning it, pretty much. And they know that. Mike knows that. Labzir knows that as well, so. I almost forgot. <laughs> yeah, you came just right on time. You came right on time. Give me a second here. I'm gonna retweet something that potentially could be lewd, but it's not really kind of lewd. Um, one minute before we start the show. Thank you very much, guys, for the pregame show. We'll get right into the action pretty soon. Also, if you wanna add, if you wanna don't uh, donate, if you wanna tip the, the stream and then get one with the bits that now it's on this channel enabled, you can do so. Um, I'm not gonna force you, but you know, it's there. Just saying. Just saying. Anyways, alright, so it is 7 o'clock. It's time to start the show. Alright, guys. Here we go. Welcome to the season finale of Monday Night Blockbuster! Alright, welcome everybody to another episode of Monday Night Blockbuster. I am your host, Clawmaster. Thank you for coming. This is the season finale of Season 5 for Monday Night Blockbuster. Tonight, we'll find out who will get the last remaining spot for Night at the Asylum 2, the big event at the end of the season that I usually hold. Um, and uh, we're going to find out tonight. But, before we do, we need to go over a few things. Give me a second here as we transition into the rules of Monday Night Blockbuster. Alright, so the rules are... Uh, all matches are 3 out of 5. If you're in loser's bracket, please play your match off stream. Grand finals are 3 out of 5. And will reset a player from the loser's bracket wins the first set. Also, the prize. Uh, first and second place will qualify for the free preview event at the end of the season. All free preview events are a winner-take-all tournament 
first place gets everything. Uh, and obviously, shout out to 86.com. Uh, those guys are awesome. You will occasionally see the, the link show up in the Twitch chat. So when you see that, please click on it. And of course, MissionStarPodcast.com. It's a site I work for and, and stuff that we do. Anime, video game reviews, and uh, anime convention coverage on the site. You can also check out the link below the stream cha- uh, the stream video to check it out as well. Also, I will add again, uh, or say, say again, I should say, um, that uh, thanks to 86, 86.com, we have a uh, bonus prize for tonight's tournament. First place, not only will we get the will be qualified for Night the Asylum 2, but tonight they will also get a uh, prize from 86.com, uh, which is a $10 voucher to use on their site. I got this through a um, through their uh, their site traffic competition they did not too long ago, and I got third place. So uh, a little more incentive for people to play tonight. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much pretty much about it. Um, also, uh, hang on a second. Uh, let me refresh the brackets. So the brackets um, are still live. Um, we got two, four, six, seven players tonight, which is perfectly okay. Um, oh wow, awesome! Who has not signed in? That's my question. Uh, give me a second here. Did I? Did I? Hang on. Did that thing go off? No. Okay. All right, cool. Good to know. Um, so the only person who did not sign in is Meme Fresh. Um, let's see. Give me a second. I'm, I'm gonna ping Meme Fresh if he's online. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, let's see. Meme Fresh. I think that's him. Meme Fresh, is that you? Also, because you, it, it, also, if it is, you didn't sign, uh, sign in, and you're in tonight's tourney, or MLB. Okay, so, you'll get a few seconds. Um, hey, what's up, Cadenza? Uh, so, I'm gonna wait a minute, I, I do I have meme fresh on my list? I don't think I, uh, my friend's list, I don't think I do, um, just want to make sure that Meme Fresh is. I don't have him uh, be hanging out or uh, have him hanging. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give him a minute or two if Meme Fresh doesn't respond, and I will just proceed with what I have right now and be a six man journey. Um, which is fine. You know, I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, uh, again, thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you very much for coming in. Um, again, reminder this is. Oh, no, don't open you. Uh, this is the uh, last episode before we go into the big event at the end of the season. Um, right now, a reminder, who has qualified for Night at the Asylum 2? Uh, we got Malak Holmes, Don Hibiki, uh, Nat Pleasure, RT, Royal Heart V2, Chuck and Plasma, D-Money, GR Morhine, Sparks, Zeddy Beat, Shoya Ramen, and Shuckle. Last spot is tonight, and the winner of that will be in the big tournament at the end of the season and in that tournament there will be prizes by 86.com that they will be providing um, for the tournament and it probably will be the same as last time I think it was like 30 bucks I think it was like for first place and normally my tournaments are for a uh, first place uh, you know winner take all tournaments uh, so uh, yeah should be pretty sick should be awesome as far as like when that's gonna happen I have to contact the players and figure that out um, all right, I am not getting a response from Meme Fresh. Um, okay, well, sorry, Meme Fresh. I'm gonna shuffle the seats anyways. But yeah, look, it looks like you had your chance. Let me just double check. <laughs> What's up, Chuck? Um, all right, so yeah, sorry, Meme Fresh. I gave you, I gave you the chance, but you're not, uh, you're not here. All right, so I shuffled the, uh, the seeds. It's a six-man tourney, which is fine. And we're going to start the tournament. And uh, voila, tournament has begun. Wait a minute. Before we before we begin, obviously we need uh, our, our, our initiation or our siren, if you will, to initiate it. Oops, hang on. I, I screwed that up. Hang on. I screwed that up. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I, I screwed that up. Let me try that again. Uh, hang on a minute. 
that. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Has begun. All right, thank you, Shang Tsung. Now the tournament has begun. All right, so uh, at this point, I'm pretty much streaming everything. So we got six people in tonight. That's fine. Um, so our first match on stream is going to be uh, Matlock Holmes versus Razor, Ninja, Ninja Razor. And then next will be Dagwood versus First Name Bases. So let me uh, tweet that out. Uh, Matlock Holmes versus... Uh, oops. Let me, where's my J button? I get this keyboard replaced, honestly. <laughs> um, so Ninja Razor, uh, if you could, give me a second here, I'll help you out and get it in here. Um, if you could click on this link, uh, MLB Groups. Oop, MLB Group. There you go. Click on that link, Ninja Razor, join the group, and get into the Steam chat. Uh, to which I will invite you to the uh, to the stream. So, just also to note uh, the event at the end of the season, Night of the Asylum Two will be seated, so no randoms. So yeah, and get Matlock comes in here. More, or, there, there, there he is, Matlock. Boom, ba bam, bam, squadoosh. Um. So now we're just need to wait for Ninja Razor. So yeah, Ninja Razor, click on that link I have in the chat that I typed in. Join the Steam group and then join the Steam chat when you can. And then I'll invite you in here. So Matlog is in here. Oh, I should actually, yeah, I got that ready. Cool. Awesome. Sick. Get the replay system in place. There you are. Here you go, baby. Invite the game. Boom. All right, invite a sent. All right, ready up, guys, and uh, let the tournament begin. Am I? Hmm. If I, I, I feel like I feel like the, the the game audio is low on skull rolls, but there we go. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be okay. Alright, so here we go. First match of the night. Between Malak Holmes and Ninja Razor. Alright, here we go. So, Ninja Razor with Parasol, Robo Fortune, and Double. Versus Malak Holmes, Fukua, Valentine, and Misfortune. Oh, caught with the overhead. Nice connection to the standing low. Connect? No, able to burst out in time. In comes Val. All right, the beam able to get the hit. Oh, a lot of a lot of uh, straight happening, but Malak Holmes with the hit and the confirmation. Going to carry Parasol switching sides. Okay, back to the mid soon. Trying to get a burst, did not get it. A good block in the overhead, but gets hit by the jump and hard punch by Valentine. Okay, gonna burst out here. Ninja Razor in the corner. Oh, caught the hit a little too far for it to connect. Oh, oh, he had the right read. If we were to let the uh, let that go to a combo to confirm, he would get the, a good uh, punish on Misfortune tag in, but did not. Parasol is dead. Robo Fortune is now in. Drops the combo again. Gets punished by the standing jab by Misfortune. Trying to reset. Oh, that jumping hard kick reset. Damn, that was nasty. Double game beat up here. Going right into Air Super. Caught the tail end. Gonna get hit by the DHC from Fugua. A lot of red health on the table right now for a double. And this is gonna be a dead Robo Fortune. Down goes Robo Fortune. In comes double for Ninja Razor. Oh, gets hit by the low shadow. Gonna burst out. Last chance here for Ninja Razor. He's in the corner. He does have five meters on deck. Oh, he messed up the jumping hard kick. Gonna get punished here for it. Cross under? No, it's actually going for the, uh, for the grab. Did not get it. Oh my god, he's got both characters. Can he keep this up? No. Okay. Now, oh, trying to go for the slide. Uh, able, is able to miss it. Okay, throwing out the shot. Shooting at the, at the nurse. Ninja Razor still has five meters. 
Oh, gets hit by the standing medium punch from Valentine. This should be a dead character. Stand hard punch right into the bypass super. And then game one goes to Matlock Holmes. Okay, so game one goes to Matlock Holmes. And then throw in the instant replay. I actually need to fix the audio. Give me a second here. Actually a little louder than I thought. Let me know how the audio is, guys. Just FYI. Alright, so, um, while I was fixing that, um, yeah, it was just down and double for a Ninja Razor. He had 5 meters, um, but did not use any of it and gets punished here. Ryan's a super, uh, making the game 1-0 for Matlock Holmes. Target confirmed. All right, here we go. Right into the next set, or next matches to say. Um, no change from Ninja Razor. Um, right now, going with the default color of the Parasol. Oh, tried to go for the cross sub. Nice answer by Malak Holmes, throwing out the stand jab. Okay. Oh, Squiggly's now in. That's interesting. Okay, da dashing the the Robo forward, and Squigs. All right, throw another fireball. Caught him. All right, now it's Parasol in the corner. Oh, the burst bait, and then able to punish. Not fully punished in time, still got the hit. Nicely done by Malak Holmes, knowing that the Alpha Counter was coming in and using the stand jet. I want to say that was meaty too. Oh, got hit by the fireball. Has squeezed in the corner, caught him with the overhead shadow. Oh, and then able to get the reset on him. Nicely done. Okay, good blocks. Oh, and then the low. Gave me the burst out. Oh, tags in Parasol. It's going to be a big punish here. Alright, is Malon going to go for the snap here? Yes, he is. Bring back the dead girl. Okay, good blocks. Oh, trying to do a reversal. We're pushing daisies. Ends of game punish. That is a dead squiggly. And then this could be a dead Parasol. Oh, dropped the combo. Double getting beat up. That might be a happy birthday. Yeah, it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> That, that is a dead character. This is going to be a 2-0 for Matlock Holmes. Alright, so 2-0 for Matlock Holmes right now. We can take a quick look at our instant replay. Uh, down goes quickly. In comes Parasol. Bad tagging from a Ninja Razor. Uh, this led to uh, an eventual death to the character and then at the same time able to get the happy birthday and able to keep double in and that pretty much sealed his fate making it 2-0 for Matlock Holmes. After you, All right, here we go. Ninja Razor down two games against Matlock Holmes. Um, he definitely needs to start something, uh, he definitely needs to be more aggressive, or he needs to be more aware uh, of the mistakes he's making right now. As of right now, my lock is definitely- Oh, wait, that grab might be started something. Grab into super. Alright, hard knockdown. Trying to go for a setup, but nicely done my lock Holmes to jump out of it. Alright, throwing the M shadow, nothing there. Oh! Oh, wow, okay. Trying to get the punish there on, uh, Valentine, but... Oh, burst. Oh, into cremation, but did not cancel into anything. Could have canceled right into silver cord. Oh, no. Happy birthday again. This is going to be a dead double. Same mistake as having last game. This is going to be a dead character. And uh, in comes Parasol for Ninja Razor. Okay, just got the hit. Not like Holmes. Just complete control. Got a reset. All right, drill. Up super. All right, down goes Parasol. In comes Squiggly. No, that's going to be a punish. It does have Invincible Startup. Oh, and an intention. And that was that was a reset. That was on purpose. Oh, not intentional. Oh, dropped the combo. Did standing medium kick instead of crouching medium kick. Oh, wow. Nice connection. And that's going to be a dead character. All right. Matlock Holmes takes it, 3-0. Moves on in the winner's side of the bracket. 
Uh, if you're in the loser side, uh, don't play your match yet because we pretty much have everybody for. Uh, well, like, it's only six people tonight, so we'll play, we'll play everybody on stream. Alright, so our next match is going to be Dagwood versus First Name Bases. It's our next match on stream. So, let me get Dagwood and then First Name Bases. Let's get the invites out. Alright. Also, I should mention, if there's any donations, uh, oh, I should say, like, uh, if there's any tips, any follows, hosts, whatnot, I will shout you guys out at the end of the stream as a thank you. Uh, first name basis. There we go. Copy, post, paste. Alright. This tweet is out there. Dagwood verse is versus first name basis. Alright. Check out this water before I commentate. Uh, just to be in the safe side. I might actually look into like some honey. I heard the people who commentate for for a long time like honey is really good for the, for the for the vocals. So I might have to hit up James Chen and see if that's true or not. All right, here we go into the match. We go first name basis with a solo pain wheel versus Dagwood's Parasol, uh, Peacock, and Bella, the one v three team. Um, the solo power is can be very very scary. Um, oh, got hit by pillar. Right to bikes. Can he convert? Yes, he can. Uh, oh, and caught him with the jumping heart punch on the way down. Was not blocking. Okay, good conversion off of the tier. Okay, overhead. Oh, and then the overhead again. Alright, a lot of damage on Parasol's end. First name bases, throwing out the charge, jumping hard punches. Oh, and then able to cancel right into the grab. Nicely done, but unable to convert into anything off of it. And this is... Okay, hard knock. Oh, caught him. With the, oh, but did not convert. Dagwood with the momentum here, and this is going to get the kill. Dagwood with the first win, 1-0 over uh, first name bases. Oh, what's up, uh, Shoya Ramen? Welcome to the stream. Also, hello, Smashy. You're not Chuggle, right? <laughs> I, I I see I see your name, Smashy, but I just like because the way that uh, your name and Chuggle's name like uh, are kind of the same in a sense. <laughs> All right, here we go. So into the next match. All right, here we go. So second match. Uh, first name base is sticking to that solo pain wheel. Oh, that was that was okay. I like I like that. Going with the charge up move from pain wheel in mid air and canceling right into a grab. That was pretty sick. Burst, yeah. He, oh, but did not punish on the burst bait. Oh, is it going to hit? No! <laughs> Good punish by Dagwood. Knowing that it was going to come out and throwing out that normal. Parasol has the best footsies in the game, in my opinion. And he is definitely using them to his advantage. Oh, overhead did not get it, but able to get the low right into Pillar. Nice conversion by Dagwood. Going to burst out? Yes. Okay, throwing out projectiles, making it very hard for a first name bases to get through. Yeah, the assist from Peacock is definitely making it harder on top of the tiers that Parasol is putting out there. Okay, he's in now. Got him with the low. Alright, first name basis. Has two meters on. Oh, we dropped it right into super. Lenny. Argus Agony. He's going to do tons of damage. He's got another meter too. He can use it. He's going to use it. Yes. Iron Jump's coming in. The piano. Right into the, uh, uh, right into the projectiles. Oh, this is looking all but Dagwood right now. Alright. Oh, got him with the jumping hard punch. Block the item drop. Item, item drop. <laughs> oh, and ends up getting punished. It is now 2-0 for Dagwood. <laughs> item drop. <laughs> I 
Okay. I'm going to take a quick look at our instant replay. The last few seconds of the last match. Uh, it was just down to... Well, it was always down to the pain mode, but like, yeah, autocorrect there. Um, very hard for me. He definitely was showing some mobility for a second there, but ends up actually going backwards, putting himself in a very tough position to uh, to make a comeback. Uh, got hit by the item drop at the very end there. Uh, and yeah, it, it's pretty hard against against a team that has Peacock uh, using that assist. Oh, the color scheme. All right, let's see how it goes. There we go. So. Uh, right now, it is 2-0 for Dagwood. Dagwood is one game away from moving on into the winner side of the bracket. Oh, caught him with the low. Okay, throwing out the jumping hard punch. Uh, first name bases. Okay, using the armor. Using the armor to get through the projectiles. Okay, he's now in. Okay, good blocks. Oh, but, okay, good blocks again on the overhead. Right, Dagwood throwing out the tears, having the assist call from Peacock, throwing out Air George. Oh, able to get the hit right into Bjor. Alright, what can he do off of this? Oh, trying to maybe... Oh, just do it. Just do it. That's going to be a dead parasol. Alright, first name basically, but the kill there. Oh, oh he let... Yeah, he let... Oh, wait, hang on, that mobility. And he still let Peacock out. That's one thing you don't want to do against a Peacock player. Oh, that's gonna trade? Huh. Okay. So we're not jumping hard punches from Peacock. Oh my god, I got Bjor. Alright, first name basis. Showing some offense right now. He's actually showing, showing, some, showing some life. Alright, throwing out the. Oh, caught him. Yes. Good stuff by Dagwood. It's gonna be a full combo here. Oh, caught him with the low. Oh, dropped the combo. He is still in the corner. Has four meters. He's got all the pressure in the world. Dash up grab. Level three. This is a dead character. Dagwa takes it. 3-0 over first name bases. Sending him to the loser side of the bracket. Alright, so Dagwa takes it. A reminder, if you're in loser's bracket, please don't play your match because we have six people tonight. So we're going to play everything on stream. So don't worry about it. Uh, just wait until I call your name. Um, all right. So our next match on stream in the winner's side of the bracket is going to be GR Morhine versus Matlock Holmes. And then it's going to be Chuck and Plasma versus Dagwood. So we got some, we got some prime matches happening. So let's get uh, GR Morhine in here. And then we're gonna get Matlock Holmes. GR Morhine versus Matlock Holmes. I feel like these players don't play each other as often. Or at least I don't see them play on uh, online during tournaments as often. Um but, uh, no, it should be interesting to see. I want to see what GR Morhine has for Malak Holmes. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, after this match, we'll have Dagwood versus Chuck and Plasma. And then the winner of those, we'll have our top two win winners. And then we'll go down to the loser's bracket. And find out who's going to be top, uh, the top two in the... Or the, uh, the, yeah, top two in loser's side. We should, but, um... Here we go. Right into the match. GR Morhine versus Malak Holmes. Uh, let me get that to be ready for the next match, actually, while I get the time. Team Detroit. <laughs> uh, GR Morhine and Chuck and Plasma representing the Detroit area. I have to ask. Uh, I have to ask Chuck and, or GR at some point. Like, what part of the what part of the area in Detroit they're from? Out of curiosity. Just wondering. I'm the only one from Detroit. Oh, he's from PW? Oh, Jim Warheim's from the uh, PMW crew? Cool. All right, here we go. All right, so into the match we go. GR Warheim with his Valentine, the Squiggly, and Bella versus Malak Holmes. We just saw a minute ago with his Fukuba team. Right now, throwing out projectiles. To, oh, uh, jump jab. Did connect, but did, unable to confirm, but got the grab there right to scalpels. Right to the bypass, into the anti air by Bella. Gonna get a, a, a vowel set up. Alright, GR Morhine switching sides, pushing Fukuwa to the corner. 
Okay, got hit by the jumping hard punch from Fugua. Wow, did Squiggly get poisoned? I think she did. Yeah, she's poisoned. Oh, no, it's Robo Fortune. Wait, is both assist characters poisoned? This is some crazy stuff. I'm, 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 I rarely see the assist actually get poisoned. Anyways, that being said, uh, in comes uh, Misfortune. Oh, the jumping hard kick did connect. Okay. There were not dead crosses. Alright. Oh. Bella getting, bit up, uh, getting beat up a little there. The he cat head is out. Oh! Threw out the stand jab. Uh, didn't get anything. Malak Holmes trying to find some sort of hit. Just jumping around. Throwing the jumping hard kick. Got hit by Valentine, but GR Morhan unable to convert into a full combo. Oh, finally with the low. Got the hit. Malak Holmes having Valentine in the corner. Oh, a little, little too close for that burst to uh, to be on his side. Ends again hit by Super Ryan to SBO. Alright, Squiggly is now in for GR Morhine. Ryan to the answer. Oh, doing some damage on the head. Oh, and then with the reset with the overhead, ends it on the one inch punch. Uh, he was still blocking. The head did take some damage. Okay, jumping like kick blocked. Oh, caught him crouching. Ends again hit by the jumping hard kick from his fortune. Oh, right, nice reset with the air grab. Okay, DHC right into Robo Fortune. Gonna go right into Fukua, best friends forever. All right, gonna continue the combo. Has a little bit undizzy to the left to work with. Burst into Alpha Counter and oh, got the overhead. He had the punish and then he dropped it, but then he got the overhead. So it's all good. <laughs> Overhead again. Okay, turn with low. Did not get it. Oh, the standing light kick from Bella. Uh, that, is a, that, is a, that is a brave move by GR1, honestly. <laughs> oh, wow! Got the hit with the diamond reflector. Got both characters. Gonna get the, the punish here on Fuku, but ends up using the second string twice. Able to burst out. 10 seconds left in the clock, and all characters are still alive. That may be another. And there may be something different than that I just said. <laughs> now, he's, now she's dead. <laughs> Seven seconds left on the clock. He got some pushing a button. All right, he just just got the lead. He's gonna cancel right into DP. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's gonna happen? Oh low air super into super. Is that gonna kill? Oh, and he barely oh, he got the lead. Malog Holmes able to barely get the lead. Takes the game. 1-0. Man, took it down. Took it, oh, yeah. took it down to all the way to the last seconds of the game. All right, in comes the instant replay. Caught him pushing a button. Ends again hit by Super. Sweep right into the DP. Trying to do it again with the other side of DP. Might have not gotten the connection wrong. Trying to go from uh, Bella into Squiggly with the SBO. Did not connect. Ends again hit by Air Super from uh, Misfortune right into the level three by Robo Fortune. Malak Holmes able to squeeze one out at the very last seconds of the game. 1-0 for, for Malak Holmes over GR Morhine. Alright, here we go. So into the next match. Oh, caught him. Wow, that was pretty high up there too. <laughs> that answer here is pretty crazy. Oh my god. Oh, he had to hit it, but dropped it. Nice conversion is using the uh, Dragon Bike uh, assist actually. Oh, caught him. Okay, good conversion. Gonna keep him in the corner. Right into the anti air. Gonna get two uh, loads on the poison vial. Okay, dead cross. Oh, can he convert? No! A little too far. He threw out the, the poison. Didn't get it. Gonna get punished here. Alright. Got a DHC. Yes, right into Robo Fortune. DHC again. Oh, okay, yeah. Gonna bring in Misfortune. And the head is out. Oh, restand. Oh, oh, there's gonna be a punish. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Right into the Bella Super. Cancel right to DP. Bring her to the mid screen. Oh, nice. Ooh, caught him with the high. All right, and just like that, Misfortune is now in the corner. Oh, nice air grab by GR Morhine. All right. Oh, gonna burst out here. Yes. Throws out the Dragon Bite. <laughs> Characters throwing normals at each other. And now, Misfortune with the hit. Ok, 
Okay, cross under. Wow, that was that was crazy. That was cool. Uh, right into the air guy reset. DHC right into uh, best friends forever. No burst, but did catch the overhead. Burst this time around. DHC, yes. Then a punish on. Oh yeah, that, yeah. The cat is dead. The kitty is dead. Okay. Oh, caught him. Jumped on the other side. Throwing out the stand uh, jab from Valentine. A big punish here by Jim Orhan. Trying to go for the burst. Did not get it. Coming down with the fireball. Able to push block in time to not get hit by the command grab. Nicely done by Jim Orhan. Yeah, Valentine on in low on health right now. Caught him with the tag in from Squiggly. Was not expecting it. And that's a dead Valentine. Robo Fortune is all that's left for Malak Holmes. Malak Holmes is hitting on 2 meters. G.R. Morhine still has a 3 team and a very healthy Squiggly. Okay, oh, the jumping hard punch got connected. Okay, center station SPO did not work. Okay, oh, it convert. No, a little too far for the jump for the crouching medium kick to connect. Oh, but caught him with the jumping medium punch from Row Fortune, punishing the grab. Snap, bring in Valentine. Oh, and the and the low did not expect it. And that's to be a dead Valentine. All right, in comes Squiggly. Okay, good block on the jumping light kick. Cremation, nothing there. Oh, no punish on the raw silver cord. Oh, caught him. Oh, did not cancel quick enough. Again, we're going down to the last seconds. Six seconds left on the clock. Can Malakoms do this? Needs to spend all this meter now. Danger level three. I don't know. Why did he not spend it? Oh, wait, he just wait him and he just barely got it again. <laughs> he just barely got it again. Malak Holmes squeezes another game out. Timed out twice. 2-0 <laughs> for Malak Holmes. Just squeezing out these wins at the very last seconds of the game. Alright. So we see in our instant replay. Uh, yeah, did not cancel in time after the cremation. There were 7 seconds left on the clock. Uh... Malak Holmes had to pull off this combo. Um, I, he had enough meter for level 3. I doesn't go for level 3. Ended up going for level 1. Um, but still got the, the win. Uh, barely. Again. Uh, able to squeeze one out. Uh, making this 2-0 for Matlock Holmes. Over GR Morhine. One game away from moving on in the winner side of the bracket. Alright, here we go. So, GR Morhine. His play has been great. It's just a matter of the last couple of seconds. Somehow Malak Holmes is able to come out with the win. Might be, might be, might be just be patience. Might be just the fact that uh, Malak Holmes is noticing the time more often. Uh, in terms of like what's coming down to. Uh, anyways, that's gonna be a hit. And a burst? No. Okay. Oh, caught him with the low. That was a dirty setup. That was dirty by Malak Holmes. It's gonna hit. Oh, it's gonna trade. Okay. Squeeze now in. Oh, the jumping mini kick gonna punish Bobo Fortune for a bit. Okay, jumping hard punch. Nothing there. Did beat the clone. Good blocks. Oh, and caught the back dash, but did not get the continuation on the combo. Oh my god, he yeah, no, he wanted to punish that, but couldn't. Oh, nicely done. Throwing out the crouching uh, light kick. Able to. Oh, nice. Right into the Sierra Cancel mix up. Alright, it, it's as if something happened. The the, the 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 offense from GR Morhine is out of control right now. SBO. Oh, but again, messed up on the distance, but gonna get the hit here off the tag in. Is he gonna snap in Fukua? And keep this character in. Snap, bring in the girl. Oh, do not air dash me. You're going to get grabbed out of the air. Down goes Fukua. In comes Robo Fortune. Oh, and Kano with the low. Oh, nice Sierra cancel into the grab. Oh, but it messed it up. Throws out the DP. Oh, might have pushed block too much. All right, misfortune now from Malak Holmes. GR Morhine. Oh, good blocks. Jumping hard kick connects again. Now she's in the corner and gets the hit. This is going to be a dead squiggly. Does not drop this combo. No, go for the air grab reset just to be in the safe side. In comes Bella. Oh my god. That mix up with the jumping hard kick air dash. Got him. Oh, try and go for the air grab. Did not get it. Oh my god. Switch sides. 
25 seconds left on the clock. Super into head. Oh. Now burst level three. Let her rip. Is Robo gonna take it? No. PBGC super denying punish. Nor this is gonna be a big punish here on uh, Robo Fortune. Very lucky Robo Fortune was not out there when the level three did connect. Or, the, or it was thrown out there. Could have been a huge damage on Robo Fortune. Regardless, she is dead. In comes most misfortune for Malak Holmes. Kai hit by the jumping hard kick by GR Morhine. Ten seconds left on the clock. Went with the uh, with the mix up after the feint. And we got a win on the board for GR Morhine. Still in favor of Malak Holmes. Two to one. Alright. Woo, baby. <laughs> Half the time, I'm like, where does Malak even come from? <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, it, yeah, to answer your question, Roll, you are still in the Invitational. This is the last episode. Whoever qualifies for tonight will be taking the last spot for the big Invitational at the end of the season. Curiosity can't kill me. Here we go. Oh, hey. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, did I just get bits? Wait a minute. Hang on. Uh, well, I'll, 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 take, I'll take a look at that in a second. All right. Got the hit. All right. Oh, caught him with the jumping hard kick. Okay, nice hit. Right into air super. Can you convert? Oh, right into the low. Nice mix up. All right. Down goes Valentine. In comes Quigley. All right. Okay, good hit with the jumping hard kick. All right, right now, GR Morhine down uh, a character. Thank you for the follow. All right, nice here. Cancel. Oh, did he mess that up? He, oh wow, the unintentional reset. Can you convert off of this? Yes, he can. Wow, that was that was on the fly combo stuff. <laughs> okay, burst out. Okay, try to punish in time. All right. Center stage in the SBO. The uh the, oh caught him pushing the button. Ends up getting hit right into the SBO. Alright, GR Morhine in control right now. Got the anti-air and trying to go for the Sierra cancel. Gonna get beat up here with the DHC right into Oh, but it messed up. The misfortune super ends up actually hitting him out of the corner. Alright, but still gets hit by the M Shadow by Malak Holmes. Gonna burst here. SBO able to go through the fireball, but oh, Okay, can't jump. SBO's right there. Ends up getting hit by the low shadow, but ends up actually messing up by the level fortune assist. Oh, it's got both characters. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> God damn it, the lag. Alright. Alright. Okay, the fireball hits. Oh, the jumping hard kick hits on the Cerebella. Madlock Holmes has three meters. Is gonna burst out here. Oh, and trying to go for the, uh, wow, that was impressive. Able to do Diamond Reflect off of the beam uh, while the uh, screen was on Fukuo. Oh, no, happy birthday. Ends up not getting both characters. Could have been huge. In time, oh, caught him with the dash. Trying to get something. Unable to. Good blocks. Oh, up back at the very last second. And this is going to be a dead character. Malo Combs takes his 3-1. to one. Alright, so I'm gonna put that in the brackets. That super sucked, man. I that that lag spike m messed up GM Morhine. That super sucks. But he's still in a tournament, so it's not completely out of it. Alright, so our next match is gonna be Chuck and Plasma versus Dagwood on stream. So let me Also, did I just get bits? Hang on a second, I need to see this. Uh where's my indicator? Uh, hang on, where's my thing? Um, oh, yeah, so thank you, Victor Dash, three, six, uh, three, six, seven for the follow. Uh, refresh? No? Hmm, all right, I'm with, I'm just right. I have something else for that now. That's right. Okay, so give me a second here, guys. Okay, I don't mind the cat meowing in the background. Um, 
<laughs> Alright, so let's get let's get him in here. So Dagwood and Chuck. Let's see, where is my friends list? There's Chuck. There you are. Play the game. Boom. Alright, so Chuck and Plaza versus Dagwood. Uh, oh wait. I think I can let's see. Dashboard. Let's see. Um, where can I find out? Let's see. Uh, no? Hmm. Okay. I am not trying. I'm not quite sure. I think somebody donated bits. If so, thank you. Um. We're waiting on Chuck and Plasma to get in here, so give me a second to actually. Let me just see. So I'm using something else for my. Hmm. Hmm. It's not showing up on. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. I think I think bits were donated. I think at some point. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> if you have, that's awesome, and thank you for the bits. Yeah, I'm still working on it. I'm still working on getting that 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 uh, figured out. Okay, so here we go. All right, so first game between these guys. Um, Dagwood versus Chuck and Plasma happening on stream. After which we will go into the losers bracket because we have our top two winners. Um, and then we'll have we'll go through the losers bracket after this match. All right, here we go. Into the match we go. All right. Right now, Chuck and Plasma with his Peacock team. Peacock, uh, uh, Par uh, Penguin and Big Ban. Oh, man, it's Big Ban. Tagging in. Might have been a misinput. He's in now, unless that's what he wants. Oh, no. Happy birthday. Snap. This is going to be a dead character. Goodbye, Penguin. We saw you for about maybe a few seconds of play, and now you're dead. In comes Peacock, and Dagwood is just mauling the little kid right now. Alright, Peacock's not out. Oh, Battle Butt. Oh, nice use of Bang from Chuck. Alright, throwing now. Oh my god, DP did connect on both characters, but unable to convert. Okay, good block. Alright, Peacock, don't have jumping hard punch. Just run at her, <laughs> but ends up being hit by the DP. Both characters, both players are just counter calling, uh, counter calling each other. Okay, good blocks. Oh, get again. The DP uh, actually ends up missing this time around. Oh, the grab MGR. All right, Dagwood with the hit. Oh, good blocks. Oh, got him with the super. Down goes Peacock. In comes Big Ben. Alright, okay, good block in there. Oh, oh, wow, caught the tail end of that. Okay, a, uh, the uh, L train, right into SSJ. Going right into the taunt. Okay, unable to punish in time. Oh, got hit by L Bomber, and this is going to be a dead character. Dagwa takes the first game 1 0 over Chuck and Plasma. All right, so we're gonna look at our instant replay. Ugh. All right, so it was just down to uh, the ban for Chuck. A good block in the elbow. Gets hit by L Bomber in the second there. Nice hit with the L Train Ryan's SSJ. Went for the taunt. Um, was unable to be punished by Dagwood. Uh, was very tentative. Gets hit by L Bomber the last second in. Nice conversion by Dagwood, getting him to kill and the win. All right, here we go. Right into the match we go. Okay, throwing out the bomb. Okay. Also, oh my God! Happy birthday off of the DP beat extent. Oh, but using the second string twice, able to burst out safely. 
Oh, gets hit punished again by Big Ban. Going for the viewer, able to push uh, double onto the other side of the screen. Alright, Chuck. Using the momentum. Oh! <laughs> Big Ban just kind of standing in the way. Double. Gets hit by the low. Unable to fully convert. Alright, George is out there. Oh, nice conversion. Alright, Chuck is sitting on three meters here. He can definitely get the kill. He's not dropped his combo. Cute shoes. Alright, Bjor right into super. Down goes double. In comes Parasol. Oh, caught him. Oh, nice. Backdash. Able to avoid the charge up move from Painwheel. Going with the low. Alright. This is going to be a dead character. A character for a character. Alright, now he's down to 2v2. In comes Peacock. Caught the air grab. Oh, Comfort overhead did not get it. Oh, overhead again. Caught him. Undizzy is high. Going for the air grab again. Undizzy still at max. Okay, stay low this time around. Okay, Chuck has not had a, an inch to play Peacock right now. Oh, until I say that. He got the opportunity. Oh, but dropped the combo, but is continuing the pressure. Oh, is it going to hurt? Oh, wow. Okay, so Parasol lived. On a pixel, but uh, got the kill on uh, on the on the character on Chuck's side, and that's going to be Concho. Ryan's a super. This is going to be a dead character. Oh, he dropped the combo. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Chuck is alive. He's got to be careful. Punisher going with the grab. It's going to heavily scale. He's going to have a reset here. Oh, trying to go for the jumping medium kick, uh, medium kick reset. Did not get it. Okay, throwing out the crouching hard punch and I think there. Oh, no punish on the giant step. Wow, the jump air grab. 24 seconds left on the clock. Big Ben can do it. He has the damage. Level 3? Yeah, level 3. Oh, uh, he's got a little bit of undizzy left to work with. Oh, unable to convert. He already used the OTG with nice reaction with the grab. Oh my god. Can he do it? The jumping medium kick ends up hit crossing up. And uh, Chuck and Plasma takes the win. Tying it up, one, one, a police, a preach, a preach. That was nuts. That was crazy. Chuck with the win, pulling out the the, I'd say 20, 30 percent life of band. Um. So as we see in our instant replay. All right, got hit by the H. Right now, it's conversion level three. Already used his second OTG twice. He's trying to convert there with the crouching light punch. Ends up catching him with the grab and then double jump right into the medium kick. Ends up crossing up and Chuck getting the win there, tying it up one one apiece. <laughs> All right, here we go. Right. To, wow. Okay, so Dagwood jumped forward, chasing down Painwheel, and Chug jumped back and able to unfly at the last second to avoid anything. I, my guess, maybe he was trying to go for the air grab. That's still, that's still interesting. Oh, let her rip. Oh, we could have had a happy birthday if we stayed on the ground, but still has the corner pressure. Oh, my God. Again, wow. Very lucky for Dagwood that that was not a happy birthday. Oh, trying to go to convert that, but dropped the combo. Trying to go for the elbow drop. Didn't get it. The air grab hits. Nice conversion. Oh, stayed in front. Oh, no. Oh, wow. That actually helped out Painwheel. Peacock was getting beat up there. Thought he had a happy birthday, but ends up just going right through Bella. Nice use of the George assist. Okay, throwing out the, the, the nails. Gets hit by double. Nice cross up with the parasol assist. Alright, down goes Painwell. In comes Peacock. Okay, the jumping hard punch connects, but unable to convert. Bang able to put double on the other side of the screen. Gets hit by the low by double. I mean, by, uh, yeah, by double. <laughs> cross under? Yes. Oh, but snuff that out. Going to hit by Argus Agony. DHC? Yes, right to SSJ. Alright. Ban is now in. <gasps> Did he catch him? Yes. Oh, but the George assist actually blew up the level five from double. That used up all his meter right for Dagwood. Chuck in a very advantage uh, position right now. Okay, good block on the George. 
Oh, nice use of the crouching hard punch. George is in play. Oh, battle butt right through the bomb. Okay, good block with the low. Gets hit by L Bomber. Oh, and the low got the hit. And that's going to be a dead ban if he's not dropped this combo. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. SSJ out of there. <laughs> in comes Peacock. Commentator's curse is real. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Throws in the item drops. Okay, throws out. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, my God. He got both characters. Bang right into Argus Agony. Is that a dead character? No, not yet. Okay, puts in Lenny. It's going for the chip. And that's going to be... Ch yeah, that's going to be chip. Wow. Chuck and Plasma. Showing off the goods. I see you, Chuck. I see you. <laughs> this is crazy. This is insane. Um, wow. So, in our instant replay, uh, Chuck throwing out the projectiles, just kind of keeping the double at bay. Uh, double did get the hit, but the reaction with the with the with the low right into bang right into Argus Agony, get the kill, and then going for the chip damage on top of the item drop coming in. Dagwood didn't have much of options to work with right there. Maybe going with, uh, maybe going with the uh, uh, what was it? The pillar, the hard, heavy pillar to go through because that has invincibility. Uh, might have been an option, but even then, it was still in a much more advantage for Chuck and Plasma. The game is now 2-1. Chuck is one game away from moving on into the winner's side of the bracket. Dagwood down a game. He can still tie this up. He's still in this. Oh, but gets hit by the DP assist from Big Ban. Oh, trying to... Oh, caught him with the cross-up. Oh, my God. Oh, the jumping hard punch connects. And then right into a hit confirmed by Chuck and Plasma. This is going to be a dead parasol. No meat required. All right, in comes Double. Oh, my God. Oh, the scramble situation. Double got the hit. All right, Dagger reversing the situation, putting Paymo right in the corner. Caught him, pushing the button. Gets hit by the air super. Okay, good blocks. Level three. Okay, oh, PBGC grab from Chuck and Plasma, punishing the level three. Use Dagger using all his meter. All right, Dagger back dashes. Now, now goes a little closer. Okay, good block. Good block on the jump and hard punch. L bomber hits. Trying to go for MGR. Going with anti air. Misses both. Predicts both wrong. Ends up getting punished here by Pain Wheel. Okay, drop the combo. Oh my god, Chuck is feeling it right now. Oh no, and that just as I say that happy birthday snap. It, that's gonna be a. No, oh my god, no, no. What? <laughs> this, this is insane. Got hit by the low. Alright. Trying to go maybe for a reset there. Did not get it. Good block by Chuck. Oh, caught him pushing a button. That's going to be... Oh, he dropped the combo. Trying to go for the grab. Didn't get it. Okay, dropped the combo again. Did he push a button? No, PBGC. Bang, right into Argus Agony. That is a dead Cerebella. In comes Dagwood. Is he going to do set up? No. Oh. Okay, caught him with the low. It's going to explode. Oh, and the damage is there. Is it going to connect on time? Yes, SSJ does connect. Doing tons of damage. Half his health already gone. Got the hit. Dagwood not out of this yet. Stayed in front. Trying to go for the air grab. Gets hit by the air super by Ban. Dropping the combo at the last second. Going for the chase down. The bomb is there. The bomb is there. <laughs> he got it. Chuck and Plasma gets the win, 3-1, to one. moves on in the winner side of the bracket. This is some good, that was, that was a, that was a great set. I love that. That was awesome. Um, alright, so, uh, top two is Matlock Holmes and Chuck and Plasma. Now we're gonna run through the loser side of the bracket, and again, we have six people tonight, which is fine. Um, we're gonna just run through the loser side on stream as well. So our first match, let's get GR Morheim versus first name basis. And then after that we'll have Dagwood versus Ninja Razor.
So let me tweet that out real quick. GR Morhein versus first name bases. Okay, so GR is in here. Let me just tweet this out real quick. Copy paste. All right, where are you first name basis? There you are. Oh, there you go, cool. Wait, why are you telling me good games, Chuck? <laughs> I didn't play you. <laughs> you should be telling, uh, <laughs> you should be telling Dagwood that. <laughs> oh, man. You funny, you funny, Chuck, you funny. Um... Let's see, so give me a second here. Huh? Hang on. Wow. Alright, here we go. Into the match we go. Alright, so GR Morheim versus the first name basis. We're now into the loser side of the bracket. GR Morheim. Uh, with his Valentine team versus Solo Painwheel. All right, caught the anti-air. Okay, poisoned. Oh, caught him with the low. All right, and poisoned. Yeah, more high in full control this match. Right into the anti-air again. Gonna get oh the burst bait. It's gonna be a full punish here by Gr Morhine. Oh, dropped the. Oh my God, had both characters. Oh, but going with the counter. Knew that he was gonna drop the combo at some point. Oh, and the burst bait again. This is all GR Morhein takes the first game 1 0. Alright, so. Into the next match we go. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Ah! All right, here we go. Right to the next match. GL Morhan is up one zero on. Uh, first name base. First name base is actually going for two team actually. First time tonight we've seen him with another character, uh, Painwheel and a Robo Fortune. Let's see how it goes for him. Uh, right now, just as like I say it, it gets hit by the stand jab by Valentine. Yeah, right into two doses of poison, three doses of poison, ready to go. Grab. Okay, nice conversion. There is the poison. Look at all that health drain away. A nice burst. Oh, in comes Robo Fortune. Let's see what Zero Fortune can do. Zero Fortune can be hit by air grab right into scaffolds. Bypass. Oh, trying to convert afterwards. Did not. A little too far. Alright, throwing out the uh, dead cross. Alright, nice pressure by uh, GR Mohan with the assist from Squiggly. Alright, throwing out the beams. Oh, caught him with the jumping medium punch. Not looking good for first name basis right now. GR Morhine in full control of this match right now. Standing hard punch right into the knockdown. Oh, stayed in front. Unable to fully convert. Oh, but got the hit with the jumping medium punch. Oh, okay. The knees right into the front. Oh, gets hit by the low right to launch. Robo Fortune Danger right into Super. Is he gonna DHC? Oh, he's all out. Oh, did not. Oh, but got the kill with the beam. All right, so down goes Valentine. Gonna get three heads. Wow, dust. Just do it. Missiles away. Oh, it's gonna go right through her because of the invincibility frames on the pushing daisies. Nicely done by GR Morhine. All right, in comes Painwheel. Gets hit by the anti air by GR Morhine. GR Morhine sitting on four meters. Oh, caught him with the. Charge center stage right into pushing daisies. Okay. Right into charge. Same situation. Gonna use a one inch punch. Oh, might have messed up the combo there. Probably unintentional. Bella's now in for GM Morhan. Gets hit by Painwheel. 
drop the combo, but has a pressure. Oh my god, what are hitboxes? Q choose on the other side. Oh wow, this the standing light kick from Cerebell level 3 is gonna hit. Is it gonna kill? Yes. There's a pixel left for Painwheel. Oh, but the jumping light kick able to get the last bit of chip. And Gia Morhunt up 2-0 on uh, first name bases. Oh, baby. <laughs> Middle dive kick kills the fan. <laughs> yeah, it, it did. That was kind of crazy also. Like, hey, hitboxes are kind of crazy with pain mill sometimes. That, that standing light kick. Very good use of it. Level 3 was able to connect and get the kill on Bella. But uh, Squiggly could just do SBL at that point. Or anything really get the kill. Which he did. So right now we are sitting on a 2-0 for GM Morhine. He's one game away from moving on in the loser's bracket and sending first name bases uh, out of the tournament. Alright, GM Morhine with the conversion. Anti-air. Oh, trying to go for the burst. Did not get it. Oh, let her rip. Oh, but too far to convert. The jumping medium punch eating right through the armor and poisoned. All right, two doses of poison. Okay, three doses of poison, ready to go. Oh, trying to go for the jumping medium punch again, but didn't get it. Nice push block by GR Morheim. All right, throwing out the, the beams. Oh, the jumping jack coming down. They connect. Wow, <laughs> the uh, the launch of the head throwing out a missile. Got missiles coming. Oh, had a connection there, but a lot of straight hits, but no credit uh, confirmed from first name bases. Okay. Alright, back to the corner you go, getting those poisons ready. Two for the burst bait, didn't get it. Ends up getting the air grab. Right into the poison, right back into the vortex. Okay, oh, a little too far for that jumping hard punch to, to connect. Still in the corner, gets hit by air grab by GR Morheim. Poison, right back to the Rubo Fortune. Ends up being hit by jumping hard kick. D uh, stand hard punch right into danger. Did not cancel into stupor. He's gonna get hit by scalpels. The animation for Robo Fortune is very slow. Oh my god, trying to go for the tag and ends up getting hit by the crouching medium kick by Squiggly. Gonna get the charge here. Oh, stayed in front, ends up getting hit by the overhead. This is looking all but dead. Messes up the combo. Wanted that anti air to connect with the one inch punch. Caught him pushing the button anyways. To SBO. This is down to Robo Fortune. Okay, center stage, nothing there. Trying to go for the silver cord afterwards, did not get it. GM Warheim sitting pretty right now. Two meters on deck. Has a full three team left. First name basis is down to his Robo Fortune. Has five meters. Okay, good blocks. Oh, trying to do the launch. Ends up getting grabbed out of it. And GR Morheim is going to go level three. And that's going to do it. GR Morheim takes it. 3-0 over first name basis. All right, good stuff to players. Sorry, first name basis, you were audited tournaments, and uh, you cannot qualify for Night at the Asylum too. All right, so our next match on stream is going to be Dagwood versus Ninja Razor. So let me, me a second here and we tweet that out. Dagwood versus Ninja Razor. And let me get the, this. Uh, J A A Z R. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, give me a second here. Copy, paste, voila. All right, let me get these guys in here. So, uh, Dagwood and uh, Ninja Razor. All right, so. Winner of this will move on and lose the side of the bracket to play GR Morhine. There we go. Alright, cool. Uh, again, thank you very much for you guys for watching tonight.
the debut of the Twitch affiliated stream. Now, uh, now with bits, and soon to be a sub button in the future. All right, so here we go: Ninja Razor versus Dagwood. Uh, we got Parasol mirrors to start the match off. All right, Parasol with uh, Dagwood, Parasol with Ninja Razor. One default, one any colors. All right, the jump and hard punch does connect. Ninja Razor with oh, trying to go over the overhead, did not get it, but the tear actually ends up uh, hitting uh, Bella, unable to fully convert. All right, good block. Oh, caught him with the low. All right, good cancel. All right, oh, got the burst out safely. Nicely done by Dagwood. Oh, it's gonna get the punish here on Philia. Just walking backwards. Oh, trying to dash up. Maybe he was trying to go for an air grab. Ends up getting blown up. Is he close to the bomb? Oh, wow, well, able to get out of there just in time. All right, Dagwood with the Peacock. Throwing out projectiles, playing the zoning game right now. Oh, try to use the Egret to absorb the uh, the projectiles. Ends up uh, dropping the combo. Alright. Throwing out George. Oh, double comes in, gets a little bit of hit by a Cerecopter, but ends up responding with the slide. Peacock gets hit with the air grab by Ninja Razor. Cross under? No, stayed in front! Stayed in front. Undizzy is at max. Dropped the combo. Is the updo gonna hit? Oh no, it, the bikes will punish. Oh, but it ends up hitting by the low and then the cross up on the other side. Overhead. Dagwood versus the situation. Putting Ninja Razor in the most unsuitable situation. Oh! Le wow, do it. Level 3. Ninja Razor saw he was thrown out a low normal, ends up getting hit by the level 3. Doing some doing some damage. In comes Philia. Oh no, and ends up calling double. Bad call by Ninja Razor. Double is dead. Gets hit by the cross up by Dagwood. Oh, and then the cross under again by Dagwood. Throwing him throwing him through uh, throwing him into Mix City. <laughs> Alright, down goes Philia. In comes Parasol. Ninja Razor looking to lose this first match. Oh, he caught him with the intentional reset. And the first match goes to Dagwood. Uh, Night at the Asylum 2. So, um, uh, after we find out who's going to be the last person to qualify for tonight. Um, if there's a new person that qualifies for that matter. Um, I'm going to get in contact with everybody who has qualified. And we'll, I know schedule what date and time will fit best for everyone to play. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's when and when it, when it happens, then I'll announce the date, and it'll be streamed on twitchtv 86 So yeah, that is the details. Also, instant replay, <laughs> right into the kill. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow, just starting things off. Just throwing out the uh, the normals by Parasol, by Dagwood. Very confident right now in his play right now. Good blocks. Abdu gets hit on the Sweetly Assist. Oh, nice hit. Confirm. All right, dropped a combo. Very worried. Very, oh, very, man. Could have been a happy birthday. Philly is just getting beat up here. Ninja Razor needs to be careful on calling out the Philly assist. I know that Updo has an invincible, yeah, invincible startup. <laughs> Tongue tied tonight. Um, but yeah, bad calls from Ninja Razor and oh, okay, drop the combo. Gregor out. Ryan's a cat heads. Oh, is that, yeah, able to connect. Wow, good stuff by Ninja Razor. All right. Oh, but ends up getting hit by Pillar Bikes. Ryan to Lenny. All right, Lenny isn't playing it right now. Oh, and caught him with the other side. Able to get the connection with the bomb, too. Doing tons of damage. All right, meter just gained for Dagwood. Oh, <laughs> in comes Philia. Come crashing in. Kind of unexpected from Dagwood. Okay, they're running out the tier. Oh, dropped a combo. Oh, the hairball does connect, but unable to convert to a combo. Oh, bang! Get and Saracopter at the same time. Nicely done. Oh, oh, good tech. Okay. Oh, but bang, able to win it out. Dagwood up 2 0 on Ninja Razor. 
Yes. All right, so 2-0 for uh, Dagwood right now. One game away from moving on in the looter side of the bracket. All right, yeah, got the kill there. Nice use of bang and sarcopter. Um, it got hit the hit there. I'm able to fully convert. Um, nice tech earlier, but uh, gets hit by bang. And now we are down 2-0. Dagwood one game away. Oh, nice cross up. Dagwood is definitely feeling right now. Oh, caught him pushing a button. Oh, it's gonna hit. No, the actually tier did not end up uh, stopping the Gregor's uh, super. Gregor able to uh, get through it all. All right. Oh, hairball. Oh, could it could have been much bigger. Ends up dropping it, and this is looking like a dead failure. No meter required. In comes Parasol. Oh, gets hit by the Suricopter and a happy birthday, but double falls out. Caught him with the overhead. Dagwood sitting on three meters. Trying to go for the burst. Did not get it. Suricopter again, double again getting beat up. Ninja Razor making its poor decisions with these assist calls. Now in comes double losing a good portion of her health. And then the tier ends up hitting the cr it like a cross up tier. That was crazy. That was nuts. Okay, good blocks. Oh, that's gonna be punished. Yeah, trying to go for the slide afterwards. Dyer's gonna push a button. Oh, but ends up dropping the combo. Level three, doing all that chip and bikes on top of it. And Dagwood takes it. 3-0 over Ninja Razor. All right, so Dagwood moving on in the bracket. Sorry, Ninja Razor, you're out of the tournament. All right, so our next match on stream is going to be GR Morheim versus Dagwood. And then we'll go back to the winner side of the bracket after this match. So let's get uh, Dagwood back in here. Fresh off the win. He's I'm pretty sure he's feeling good right now about himself. It's like, yeah, I'm the best. Uh, I'm going to take this, this turn tonight. Copy, paste. Again, thank you very much for you guys watching tonight. Uh, much appreciated. Um, again, much love to the whole community for watching and supporting uh, this tournament series as well as the stream and Twitch channel. All right, here we go. So, GR Morheim versus da versus Dagwood. I said that weirdly. Um, <laughs> So, right now, getting hit by Parasol, Dagwood is definitely rushing in on GM Morheim. Not give him an inch to breathe right now. And just like that, down goes Valentine. In comes Squiggly. Dagwood all over GR Morheim. Okay, oh, caught him. Nice response by GR. Throwing out the crouching medium uh, the, uh, light kick. Oh, trying to go for the Sierra cancel mix up. Did not get it. Lenny is in play. Peacock is now in play for Dagwood. Gonna get tons of damage. Argus Agony is gonna. Okay, uh, he's gonna. We get the hit. Oh, but the response. Oh, but the projectile from Peacock able to blow up the SBO. And just like that, it is just down to Cerebella for GR Morheim. All right, drop the combo. Gets hit by the by the grab from uh, Cerebella. Oh, trying to go for the mix-up. <laughs> this grabber just put him right back in the corner. Oh, wow. Nice block on that. I want to say, was that an no red? Okay, good blocks. Okay, Cerebella now in for Dagwood. Okay, got the hits. Dagwood si sitting on two. About to, oh, drop the combo. Going to go put out Lenny. Oh, my God. Blue playing with fire. Oh, ends up actually... Wow, ends up uh, going through the bomb. The uh, grab animation able to last just enough before it explodes. Trying to go for the uh, mix up after the jumping hard kick. Did not get it. Gee, more, I'm not totally out of it yet. Oh my god. Good blocks. Okay, good block. Sarah doing ton. Oh my god. That's going to hit. 
Oh, but the good response by Dagwood with the sniper shot. Dagwood with the first win. 1-0 over GR Morheim. All right. Uh, so, who man? Uh, yeah, Dagwood. Uh, definitely. He after the win, he's definitely feeling himself. Um, I would not doubt him. He's feeling really good right now. Uh, good. Okay. Yeah, he had him in the corner. Uh, good pressure. Um, did not punish the diamond inflector, but doing a lot of shit with that sword copter. Level three, able to hit and do damage, but nice response with the sniper shot super. So now we are up 1-0. For Dagwood. Wow, dash up. Uh, jab from Parasol. Nothing there. Okay, throwing up projectiles. Playing the zoning game. Zoning out Valentine. Does not want any part of Valentine right now. Okay, oh, nice. Able to uh, dash under and got the hit with a jumping light punch. Nice conversion into the pillar. Alright, nice conversion. Drop the combo. Okay, good blocks. Alright, good blocks again. Pillar right into a peacock. Oh, wow. Oh, it's still blew up. It still killed Valentine. I think he might have was trying to go for DHC to push in Daisy with uh, Squeakly because it does have his ability uh, startup. Uh, but unable to, and down goes Valentine for GR Morhein. That way, throwing up. Oh, got the hit. Came on the other side. Okay, Ryan to Argus Agony. Is he gonna DHC for more damage? No. I mean, I'm even close enough to do it, actually. Alright, doing some chip. Alright, the anti air. Oh, that last part. <laughs> that, oh, that. Okay, nice. Right into the grab. Squiggly still alive. Jumping Heart Punch does connect right into SBO. Brings in Bella. Oh, no punish on the. Uh, uh, on the teleport. Oh, went for the Concho. But the Bing ends up actually going right through it. Oh, try to do it again. Ends up getting hit by the other side this time around. GR more. I'm gonna get this kill off the overhead. All right, in comes Bella for Dad. Yeah, wow, the elbow from the heavens, but drops the combo. Ends up getting super. Right into SBO. GR Morhine with the conversion with the crouching medium kick. All right, right into the anti air. Gonna get charged. Went with the zero cancel, but Dagwood knows. Okay, level three. Oh, nice block. Good, uh, absolute guard change on the on the blocking. Nice grab. Wow, that was weird. <laughs> the crouching medium kick actually ends up hitting her out of the corner. Okay, nice here. Cancel off the overhead. But the chip's gonna do it. And now just down to Bella yet again. Trying to go for the toe tap. Didn't get it. GR Morhine, a meter here. Trying to go for the reset, did not get it. Ends up getting grabbed by Bella. Okay, right into bike. Is he close enough to. No, not close enough to get it. Alright, don't run the bike. 16 seconds left on the clock. This looks all but over and got him. Dagwood up 2 0 on GR Morhein. Dagwood is on fire. He's on fire right now. One game away from making it to Losers Finals for Episode 12, Season Finale of Monday Night Blockbuster Season 5. After this match, we'll play Malak Holmes versus Chuck and Plasma in the Winners Finals. Alright, here we go. So, 2-0. What can GR Morheim do right now? Well, he's going to hit by a jumping hard punch. That's the first thing he'll do. <laughs> okay, good tech. Alright, nice hit with the stand jab by GR Morheim. Alright, that's exactly what he needs. Some offense right into the vortex. Trying to go for the burst. Did not bite. Nice confirmation off of the pillar right into the Seracopter. Doing it again. This time, full hit confirm. Oh, might have been going for a reset. Might have just dropped the combo. More than likely it was a reset, actually, thinking about it. <laughs> um, Alright, nice. Right into the anti air. Oh, caught him. Sierra cancel into the air grab. Nice conversion. And oh, DP is going to burst, and that's going to be a dead parasol. Nicely done by GR. More hot. Oh, no. 
He's got both characters with drops to combo. Seer cancel might have done it a little too slow. Okay, center stage in the SBO. Oh, but the George assist actually ends up uh, messing up the combo from GR Morhine, giving Dagger a chance to escape. Sarcopter does connect. This is gonna be a dead character. Argus Agony, yes. All right, Bella in. Okay, throwing out some. Oh God, I am drug coming in. Got hit by Sarcopter. Peacock, th oh, nice diamond reflex. That precision by GR Mohai. Nice uh, air grab reset. Okay, overhead. He has two meters here. He's going to spend them. Yes. Right into the uh, bypass super. Down goes Peacock. In comes Bella. This time for Dagwood. Caught him pushing a button. Ends up getting punished by Bella. Rushing in. Went with the anti-air. The hard read did not get punished for it. Alright. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dash up. Gets hit by Stan Jab by GR Morhine. Anti-air. Two poisons loaded. Alright. You gotta guess now. Oh, gets hit by the grab. Undizzy's at max. Going right back to the vortex. Okay. Again, the air grab. He's not taking these grabs. He's got to be careful that level 3 jumped. Jump gets hit by the anti-air again by GR Morhine. He's got one more guess. No, wait. This might be dead. No, this is dead. This is a dead character. All right. GR Morhine gets the win. Still in favor of Dagwood. But, uh, wow. All right, so take a quick look at our instant replay. Uh, yeah, so it was down to uh, Bella for uh, Dagwood had all five meters, um, but did not tech. He was definitely in the mix. He definitely was um, not in, in, in the best place in the world, obviously, um, but he was definitely getting hits confirmed, getting mixed up, and led to an eventual death. But still in favor of Dagwood, who is up 2-1. to one. Dagwood, one game away. Oh my god, the pillar hit on both sides. Alright, guy hit by the air grab. Alright, throwing out the uh, dead cross. Dead cross again. Oh, gets hit by the elbow. Oh, gets hit. Alright, nice confirm. Okay, right into the anti-air. All right, GR Morhine reversing the momentum. Dagwood came into this game already winning the last set. And right now, it looks like GR Morhine is resetting the momentum in his favor. Peacock is now out for Dagwood. Gets hit by the air grab. Oh, nice. I was going to hit. Yes. And right SPO wants to be on the safe side in case it might have dropped. Okay, right into the anti-air. Oh, stays in front with the CR cancel reset. I'll try all right. Oh, gets hit by the low from Peacock. Oh, nice. Caught him with the high. Dagwood with the offense right now. Going right to Argus Agony. AZ against DHC. Yes, right to level three. And going to get the kill. Squiggly is now down. In comes Bella for GR Morhine. Oh, caught him with the low. Oh, but unable to fully convert. Caught him with the Concho. Okay, got him with the air grab. Unable to convert afterwards. Oh, and then caught him with the low. Alright, Dagwood. With the pressure, drops the combo. Gonna back away. Throwing out the tears. Sort of cops are out there for a second there. Dagwood definitely playing his zoning game. Oh my god, gets hit by the grab. Has the corner. Can he convert? No! Just a little too far, but still gonna get the hit here. Are right, gonna burst out? Oh, they! Oh, wow! Comes in with the elbow and then straight right in the super. Gonna finish it with the four fierce. Now he's just down to Valentine. Valentine is close to five meters. If Gr Morhine can escape, which it looking like it's not, you would be able to, to revive somebody with level five. But that's gonna do it. Dagwood takes it. Two, uh, three to one. 
over GR Morheim. Moving on to the losers finals of the bracket. All right. So we're going back to the winner side of the bracket. It's going to be Matlock Holmes versus Chuck and Plasma winner side. So let me skip these guys in here. Matlock versus Chuck. All right. I got to do this. <laughs> I got to do it do this way. Hang on. Uh, with my friends list. Or maybe it's on here. No, 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 it's not. Okay. Give me a second here as I get Chuck on the horn. Fight the game. Alright, so Chuck is invited. Here we go. So Matt Lock Holmes is Chuck and Plasma winner side. Plasma versus Matlock Holmes winners finals. There we go. Awesome. Ooh, baby. Um, all right. Here we go. Winner's finals. Winner. So I believe, let me just check real quick. These two have already qualified for Night at the Asylum. With the remaining players left, the only player who has not qualified is Dagwood. Because GR Morhine already qualified. So did Malak Holmes. So did Chuck. But, Dagwood is sitting in the loser's finals. He has a chance to make it tonight. The question is, will he get it? He just needs to get into grand finals. That's all he needs. But right now, with the incentive, as a reminder, there is an incentive tonight. First place will get $10 voucher from 86.com. So winner will only qualify, or who may already qualified. Um, but also will get ten dollars to use of whatever thing they want to buy on 86. Doesn't like little Innsmouth have like really great sushi and stuff? Ladies and gentlemen. Alright here we go. Winners finals. Chuck and Plasma versus Matlock Holmes. Wow, very very tentative by Matlock Holmes. Uh gets hit by the air grab by Chuck. Chuck with his starting out with P uh Painwheel. Okay, able to punish the back dash with the low. Matlock's turn to play now. Okay, stayed in front. Good block on... Did, did he block the cross-up jumping hard punch? That was crazy. Oh, gets hit by George. Ends up being punished. Painwell with the full hit confirm. Okay, right to Bure. Alright. Oh, good blocks. Oh, got the hit on Ban. Probably, low, probably trying to get the hit on Painwell as well. Okay, nice confirm off of the DP from the head. Right into Super, DHC, yes, best fence forever, in comes Fukua. This is going to be a dead pain wheel, did not drop this combo, no, going for the overhead, got the low, down goes pain wheel, in comes Peacock, undizzy at max, and undizzy's gone. <laughs> Alright, nice hit with bang from Peacock, good, good block on the item drop, gets hit, can he convert, no, just a little too far for the happy birthday. Nice hit off the DP. Good blocks. Oh, but the 40 hits of armor from the command grab from Fukua went through the beat extend and got the hit on Peacock. I, wow. Okay. Happy birthday. Can he convert this? Nice. Is he going to hit all the characters in time and the bomb? No, not in time. More than likely, he was hoping that the... Uh, the level 3 would able to hit and then ends up uh, hitting on Lenny, but did not. But still got the hit. DP. Nice confirm into the A train. SSJ for the kill. Alright. In comes Valentine losing half her health. Oh, the jumping light kick actually ends up hitting crossing up. And go to the low. Nicely done. Okay, hard knockdown. Trying to go for the instant over uh, did a little too early. Ends up actually punishing Pika um, uh, misfortune. Now looking good for Matlock Holmes. Oh! Okay, air, air super. 
right into the Matlock Homes, the level 5, we got characters back. Fukua, welcome back. Alright, able to avoid the bomb. 17 seconds left on the clock, got the burst bait. That's going to be a big punish here on Peacock. Okay, launch, right into bypass. Another burst bait but gets hit by the DP from Big Man, but unable to convert. Seven seconds left on the clock. Malak Holmes still has the lead. Chuck just needs... Uh, oh my god, caught him with the uh, giant step. Oh my god, oh! The dead cross! Two seconds in time! Uh, no, no, barely, barely. Oh no, he got it! Matlock barely got it, holy crap. Matlock squeezing it out, he's been squeezing out. Squeezing out. Yes, Smashy. The command grab for Fukuwa has 40 hits of armor. It's not invincibility, as I once said on the stream when I got too hype. But actually, yes, it has 40 hits of armor. It might be like 35, but it has a ton of hits. Yeah, so it's really, really good. <laughs> but right now, 1-0 for Madlock Holmes. Squeezing it out. Last second wins from Madlock Holmes in these last couple games he's been playing. 40? Why? I don't, I don't know. Ask Mike. <laughs> Ask Mike about that. I don't know why that's the reason. <laughs> You can also grab Fuku out of it as well. Alright, here we go. So into the next match. Malak Holmes with the with the win there, the 1-0. Oh, but the oh he's gonna convert. No, it cannot convert it. <laughs> that would have been that'd been funny. Alright, air grab. Okay, Bure. Oh good blocks. Okay, jumping hard punch, able to not connect. Good block by Chuck and Plasma. Jumping hard punch connects. Oh, overhead, nothing there. Oh, good blocks by Chuck. Blocking all of this stuff. Oh, went with it with the sweep. Did not connect. Malak Holmes with the punish. Okay, no burst. Wow, pushing her right to the corner of the screen. Oh, and then caught her with the. Uh, I would say the cross up, yeah. The air dash, jumping Harky got him facing the other way, ends up being punished. Down goes Pain Wheel. Oh, bang, did not connect. Okay, nice. Oh my god, it could have been hyper. It could have been much worse for Chuck and Plasma. Got the hit. They want to get out of the corner. Got the hit on both characters. Happy birthday. He's going straight into the damage. Oh, but Fukuwa fell out. Alright, Valentine comes in oh able to get through the project or uh, get underneath the projectile by peacock getting the damage on uh, big ban wow good stuff good mobility by by uh, malak holmes oh gets it by item drop all right got the hit off the dp oh air grab oh nice conversion right to argus agony and DHC here for the kill. SSJ not dead yet. In comes Fukua. Okay, throwing out the jumping heart kicks. Okay, Bow recovering in the hospital. Throwing out the fireball. Okay, good push block. Okay, good blocks on the overhead. Oh, caught him. Oh, but dropped the combo. Malakom sitting on five meters. Oh my god, got him with the air grab. 22 seconds left on the clock. Are we going down to another last second match? Caught him with the M shadow. Down goes Big Ban. In comes Peacock for Chuck. Oh, dash up grab right into best friend forever. 14 seconds left on the clock. What is not gonna do? Gonna burst out. Alright. Throwing out the fireball. Chuck and Plasma needs to rush in. Might be just giving up this match. Uh, yeah, this is looking mighty, mighty grim right now. Oh, caught him with the low, and this is going to be it. All right, so 2-0 for Matlock Holmes. One game away from making it into Grand Finals. Yeah. 
All right. So we are down to our potentially last match in winner's finals. Um, all right, nice conversion. Yeah, nice conversion off of that. All right, be able to burst out there in our instant replay. It was pretty slim, 10 seconds left on the clock. A lot had to happen, uh, A pretty much a bad call from Matlock Holmes would have had to happen to potentially have Chuck come back, um, but uh, did not. And we are now at 2-0 for Matlock Holmes, one game away from making it to Grand Finals. Doesn't like Little Innsmouth have like really great sushi and stuff? All right, here we go into the wow starting off with stand medium punch by Miss Fortune All right, it's gonna burst out also Chuck switched to his two team wants the, the the power the damage uh, So it's pain wheel and big band. Oh kind of with the cross under Right now that decision is not working out for Chuck's uh, for Chuck right now oh, Wow, that was crazy that was kind of nuts. <laughs> All right, jumping hard punch. Good blocks. Good block on the head. Good push block by Chuck. Oh, caught him. Oh man, Brass hitting uh, the head and Valentine doing some damage. Oh no, happy birthday. This is it, snapping time. Oh no, not in time. Waited a little too long to do it. All right, Big Ben is now in. Oh, gets hit by the cat head. Snap. Bring in uh, Pain Wheel. Oh, but wow. Okay, Chuck with the response with the grab. Oh, and cut him with an unintentional reset. Down goes Miss Fortune. In comes Valentine. All right, good blocks. He's in the corner. Got the hit by Jumping Medium Punch. Malak Holmes. Can he convert this into a kill? Oh, burst, but he still has the pressure. Ends up cornering himself, but ends up actually in his favor. Oh, okay. Into the grab. Last chance for Chuck. Can Chuck do it? Oh, no. Raw SSJ. That's going to be a big punish by Malak Holmes. Okay, on Dizzy's high. Oh, got the burst bait. This is all Mallow Combs right now. Chuck. No, it's, no it might be dead. It, it, might be a de it, it might be a dead character. Level 3? Yes. Alright. Matlock Holmes takes it. 3-0. And moves on into the winner side in Grand Finals. Sending Chuck and Plasma to the loser side. Loser side. All right, so our losers final match is going to be Dagwood versus Chuck and Plasma. So losers finals. Are we going to see the run back of Chuck and Malak Holmes, or are we going to see? Um, are we going to see a new person get into Grand Finals versus Malak Holmes tonight? And on top of that, he will, Dagwood, if he wins this set, he will qualify for Night of the Asylum 2. Where's Malak? Oh, no, I was to say, uh, Chuck, yeah. Uh, give me a second here. Me, uh, Dagwood is, is, Dagwood is in. He is, he is ready to go. Uh, and then let me get, uh, Chuck in here. All right, so Chuck has been invited. All right. Here we go. Chuck and Plasma versus Dagwood. I believe Malak Holmes does have an intro, actually, in thinking about it. Huh. Hmm. We'll find out in a minute. But, uh, again, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Again, a reminder, if you have donated, uh, toasted, or... Follow this channel uh, during the entire stream. I will shout you out at the end of the stream as a thank you. Uh, what this, uh, <laughs> funny enough, you should say that. Smashy is right there on in front of you. Uh, Monday Night Blockbuster. <laughs> um, excuse me. Well, right now we are in losers finals. Check and plans versus Dagwood. 
All right, here we go. Ryan's in the match. We go. Dag was starting off with double. Nice block. That was pretty ambiguous. Thank you for the fall, Smashy. Oh, nice reset off of the, uh, the launch. Ryan's low. Okay, good, good burst. Okay, wow. Parasol just blowing that up. All right, nice hit. Okay, good burst. Oh, caught the hit. Alright, good good push block. Oh. Alright, DHT rides a parasol. Oh, wow, stayed in front. Alright, throwing out the projectiles. Okay, nice block on the, on the brass. Chuck and Plasma, right now he's doing... And the assist is definitely doing the, the work for Chuck and Plasma right now. Alright, caught there with Imbure. Okay, George is gonna hit. Yeah, he's definitely punishing these assists by Dagwood. Dagwood is throwing out assists um, in neutral and getting punished every time by Chuck and Plasma. But just as I say that, Paymo goes down. Alright, in comes Peacock. Oh, in time? No. Oh, wow, just a little, a little closer would have been a goal for, could punish. Oh, caught the grab. Lenny is in play. Oh, ends up teleporting just in time. But not enough health. Down goes Parasol. In comes Bella for Dagwood. Caught him with the low. Oh. Oh, wow. Caught him with the elbow. Oh, but thought he had the hit. DHC rides to Catheads. Ends up getting punished by BBGC. Jumping light kick by Band. There's a big punish here by Chuck and Plasma. Oh, trying to hit with the A train. Did not get it. Oh, push block right into George and Brass able to get the chip kill. Trying to go with the jumping medium kick cross up. Ends up not getting it, but got the hit anyways on Dagwood. Okay, nice. Co oh, drop the combo. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, giant step. Level three. That's going to be a dead character. All right. First game goes to Chuck and Plasma. Alright, so 1 0 for Chuck. Alright, so as we take a moment for them to load up the next game, look at our instant replay. Yeah, the jumping medium kick, he was hoping to cross up, ends up actually not. Uh, still got the hit afterwards with Ban, uh, which eventually, oh, dropped the combo there, but got the hit somewhere. <laughs> he eventually got the kill. Yeah, there we go. Like, giant step, level 3. And then DHC into Pika for some odd reason, but still got the kill. Uh, Chuck is up 1-0 on Dagwood. Oh, the air super ends up hitting Bella, but not on double. And a happy birthday. Can he keep it up? No. Okay, got the hit with the pillar. All right, has Painwheel in the corner. Oh, dropped the combo. Brass comes in. Got the hit confirmed, but did not fully convert. This time he does. Chuck and Plasma with the hit confirmed. Oh, kind of burst out, all right. Oh, but the jumping hard punch connects. He's got two meters on deck. Cute shoes. Jumping hard punch. Oh, and ends up getting the unintentional reset. Down goes double. In comes Peacock. All right. Parasol now in play for Dagwood in time to punish uh, Big Man. Level 3, all his meters gone now. Alright, good hit. Nice come from my Oh, good blocks. Oh, trying to go with Bang. Ends up punishing. They're punishing each other's assist. <laughs> Alright, Argus Agony. Again, nicely. Nice call by Chuck. Going with Bang. Able, able to punish uh, Parasol. Oh, no, punish on the uh, on, on the pillar. Gets it by pillar again. Then they get the punish here with a DHC from a Dagwood. Run into command grab gonna stay away from lenny not any part of that bomb's gonna hit no but gonna get hit by argus agony and down goes parasol just down to cerebella oh trying to go for the elbow drop ends up getting hit by brass chuck quickly is up 2-0 on uh dagwood all right
Woo, baby. Oh, man. So, yeah. So, Dagwood, uh, he had a chance there. Run up, or, yeah, run into command grab. Able to get away from Lenny, but ends up getting hit by Brass and then converts into Argus Agony. Uh, bad assist called by Dagwood. Parasol was now dead. Uh, and then trying to go for the elbow, but ends up getting hit by Brass assist from Big Ban. Uh, making this a 2-0 for Chuck. Chuck is one game away from getting back into Grand Finals to play against Matlock Holmes for the run back. Oh, wow. Able to cross up. Okay, dash up grab. Dagwood with the offense. Can he make this comeback? Oh, ends up messing up the combo. Might be trying to go for a reset there. Ends up being punished by Chuck. He's in the corner. Good burst bait. Tons of damage coming towards Double's way, but drops the combo. Oh, able to fly over just in time and unfly just in time to block the stuper, the, the sniper stuper. <laughs> okay, standing low, ends up being blocked. Nice hit by the brass from Chuck. Okay, he's going out to the nails. Oh, nice punish, nice confirmation right into the full combo by Painwall off of the brass. Let it rip. This is all Chuck and Plasma right now. Oh, again, letting the rip, and down goes Parasol. In comes uh, Double, but well, hang on, Dagwood with the hit. Comes in swinging, and this is going to be a dead character. Can Dagwood do it? Oh, grab. All right. Dagwood with the hit. Question is, oh, trying to go for another grab again, ends up teching. Okay, good block. Oh, with the with the hit, but did not hit confirm to a combo. He's going to hit in time. No, good response by Chuck. All right, getting punished by the Argus Agony. Got to be very careful. Oh, the Air George hitting him out of the air. Good punish. Right to Argus Agony. This is going to be it. Chuck and Plasma takes it. Moves on to Grand Finals with a 3-0. So... Before we get into our match, these players have their own intro. So before Chuck and Malak Holmes enters, and this is something I, I actually promised, but I need to get back into, is whenever you make grand finals in my tournament, you get your own Titantron video, a la WWE. And let's show what that means. Let me give you a uh, name in a second here. So where is Malak? There he is. There we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Grand Finals. Chuck and Plasma versus Matlock Holmes. Who is going to be the winner of tonight's season finale? Also, to answer your question, Shoyu Ramen, um, uh, like I said, I, I have taken a... Uh, I won't say taken a break, but I've been way behind on intros that I should be making. Um, because of life stuff, but I will eventually get back to them. Uh, and when I do, I'll let you go, I'll let you know. But yeah, if you've earned a grand final spot in the past couple, one or two seasons, I think I'll make an intro for sure. <laughs> for 10 seconds? Sure, Shuckle, I'll make that happen. <laughs> All right. Alright, here we go. 
So, uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good, Shady Robin. All right, so Chuck and Plasma versus Malak Holmes Grand Finals. All right, here we go. So, Matlock Holmes is in the winner side of the brackets. If he wins three straight or three games out of the set, he will be tonight's champion. If Chuck wins, he will reset the brackets and put Matlock Holmes into the loser side of the bracket, uh, which then they have to play in their another set to find out. All right. Right now, Matlock Holmes with the pressure with Misfortune. On Big Ben. Oh, got him with a jumping hard kick. Oh, caught him with the crouching medium kick. Unable to convert a little too high. Oh, threw out the brass. But actually ended up uh, not being punished. Alright, backing away. Gets a hit by a jumping light kick. Symbols right into SSJ. And that's going to be a dead character. Down goes Misfortune. In comes Valentine for Matlock Holmes. Alright, throwing out the jab. Oh, punishing the stand jab. Oh, oh nice. The jumping medium punch connects. Malak Holmes with three meters. Launch. Brian's a jumping hard kick. Bypass. Got the burst bait. That's going to be a big punish here by Malak Holmes. Alright, launch again. Is he going for the same burst bait again? Yes, he is. Alpha counter, but not in time to punish uh, Big Ben coming in. Okay, nice brass from Big Ben. Okay, Dead Cross connects. Ends up getting hit by the jumping medium punch by Valentine. Alright. Launch. Knees. Jumping hard punch. Bypass. Jungle for a burst. Did not get it this time around. And gets hit by the stand jump after being blocked by the jump by the jumping knees. But ends up getting hit by the response to stand jab by Big Ben. In comes Fukuwa for Malak Holmes. He is on with five meters. Gets hit by the overhead. Chuck with five meters of his own. Question is, are we going to get a song? Oh, no. Dropped a combo. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pain will assist there to save the day. Could have been a happy birthday, but not today from Chuck. 25 seconds left on the clock. Oh, able to avoid the command grab. Oh, the ju oh my God. The jumping hard kick barely hit, but he dropped the combo. But the... The, the uh, crouching light punch able to get the hit and Chuck gets the first win in this set. Alright. So, uh, in our instant replay, uh, he had the symbols. Nice, again, the assist from uh, Pain will able to save the day. Could have been much worse. Um, able in neutral, okay. Able to avoid the command grab. Um, the jumping hard kick, the very last tip of it, dropped a combo, but still able to get the hit with the crouching light punch. Ryan to brass, making it 1 0 for Chuck and Plasma. All right, here we go. Oh, we, oh, interesting opener by Chuck with the DP. Oh, had the uh, the hit on both characters, but dropped it. Okay, giant step right to brass. Okay, good blocks. Oh, able to be beat up the, the the clone, the shadow clone. Ends up being punished anyways. All right, burst out safely. Okay, good blocks. Good block in the low shadow. Oh, brass, just do it. Ends up actually, uh, oh my god, Valentine getting beat up, a lot of red health on Valentine right now, Matlock Holmes has got to be careful and calling her out, gets hit by the M Shadow, putting Ban in the corner, gonna get the burst bait, big punish here by Matlock Holmes, drill, Ryan to super, gonna bring in Valentine, losing all that red health, alright, oh it brings back Misfortune, alright. Oh, got the hit. They did not fully hit confirm, but the air grab does hit. All right, Chuck with Painwell in. Going to burst out here safely. You've seen the second second shooting twice. Oh, comes down for Button. 
Oh no, happy birthday on two small characters. Can he keep this up to the corner? No, but he does get the burst bait. Okay, got him with the Rekka's run to the full combo by Misfortune. I'm trying to go for maybe a reset. Let me drop the combo. Okay, good blocks. So PBGC Super right into DHC, into Valentine. And into Best Friends Forever. That's going to be a dead pain wheel. In comes Peacock with 5 meters. A lot of ammo, but is he going to be able to use it? Right now, Malak Holmes with the hit. Trying to go for the burst bait. Did not got it. He got the burst bait at the very last second. Ends up pushing buttons on the way down. Being punished. Got counter hitted. And again counter hit. One to one. Between these two. Alright. Man. Alright, so got the, the kill on uh, Pain One or instant replay. Alright, good block. Got hit by the low shadow by Fukua. This is basically where it all went downhill. Got the burst bait at the very tail end of the animation. And end up trying to push a button somewhere between those strings. End up being counter uh, hit twice. And led to an eventual death. Making it one to one between Malak Holmes and Chuck and Plasma. Reminder, Malak Holmes is coming out of the winner's side of the bracket. All he needs to do is win two more games and he wins tonight's tournament. But Chuck, if he wins two more, he can reset the bracket, send Matlock Holmes to the loser side, and we have another set to play through. Alright, here we go. Oh, <laughs> very interesting uh, trade there between the both players. Uh, right now, it working out in favor of Matlock Holmes, rushing in. Oh, and the burst bait again by Malak Holmes. Oh, trying to go for the grab. Ends up being pushed once again, but ends up not fully punishing. Oh, and then crouching low. Down goes Painwheel. In comes Peacock. Oh, nice bang by Chuck and Plasma. Okay, throwing out the projectile. Projectile again. Oh, the M Shadow hits, and it's a happy birthday. That's going to be a dead ban. Unfortunate for Chuck and Plasma. Now it's just down to Peacock. Oh, good blocks. Oh, guy hit. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Oh, good block in the overhead. Can burst out. Peacock all by herself. Throwing out the projectiles, Air Georges, Four Fierces, anything that Chuck can do. Right now, oh, overhead into jumping hard kick. And it is now 2 to 1 for Matlock Holmes. Matlock Holmes is one game away from taking tonight's tournament. The season finale of Monday Night Blockbuster, season 5. Um, in our instant replay. Able to connect the jumping hard kick. Um, did not get the burst bait, but Chuck was pushing the button in between those strings. Ends up being counter hit. Did, bur did burst that time around. Had a, a moment there to find sort of some sort of offense. Uh, throwing out the Air Georgia, throwing out projectiles. Um, but in the end, got hit by the overhead and into death. Thank you. Making it 2 1 in favor of Matlock Holmes. Thank you for the follow. All right, here we go into the last match. Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, what just happened? Oh, wait, wait, we're st we still alive. Okay, we're good. We're good. A little moment, a little, little sudden uh, lag there. But here we go. Last potential match. Malak Holmes one game away. Gonna get hit by, by Brass. Throwing out the projectiles. Oh, gets hit by the low right into the M shadow. Okay. In the corner already, Chuck and Plasma it did not push your button. Oh, gets hit by the low shadow. Gonna burst out safely. Got the hit. Nice confirmation. You're reversing the situation. Put in Madlock in the corner right now. Okay, right into the super. 
All right, in comes Valentine. I'm trying to go for, I want to say, mix up there, but nothing there. Wow, let her rip with the slide. Or with the, with the sweep, I should say. <laughs> oh, mix up? No, did not get it. Stayed in front. Good blocks by uh, Malak Holmes. Got hit by the jumping hard punch. Bjorn did connect. And his counter hit. Can he convert? Install. Yes. All right, Chuck so showing some life right now. Went for it. Just let her rip. And that's going to be a dead Valentine. In comes Misfortune. Just down the Misfortune for Matlock Holmes. Oh, the head comes off. Got the spike. And this is going to be a dead pain wheel. All right, in comes Peacock. Okay, good blocks. All right, got the hit. A little, little hit there by the head. Okay, able to get out of there. Right now, this is definitely in favor of Chuck and Plasma, but Malak Holmes is maneuvering through these projectiles through the bullet hell oh not in time to get both characters but able to get the hit on peacock all right again nice air dash nice mobility by matlock avoiding the brass and the projectiles by peacock all right dashing in going for the grab good tech oh my god just gonna do some damage gonna get punished here all right, a little damage there. Oh, nice jumping hard punch. Jumping hard punch again was blocked this time around. Oh my god. Not on very much life. Oh, but the jumping hard punch connects. Tying this two to a piece. Going down to the last game of this first set. It can go either way. We're going down to the last game, guys. Either way. <laughs> Our instant replay as we see uh he's been maneuvering through the projectiles and brass pretty well trying to maybe maybe it was frustration you know able to do some damage on bam but punished by peacock um living on i'd say 20 percent life uh eventually the jumping heart punch connects nicely placed by chuck tying this set two two a piece going down to the last game in this first set Oh, starting things off with a jumping hard punch by Pain Wheel. Able to connect, but bursting out safely because of the second string. Got the connection. Oh, re the got him on the other side. Chuck is feeling it. Alright, Q choose. And that's going to be a dead Fukuwa. In comes Valentine. Oh, let her rip. Chuck. Sitting on a green bar right now. Got the hit with a jumping hard punch. Buer. Oh, the brass. Nothing there. Oh, Buer misses. Ends up being punished by Malak Holmes. All right. Malak Holmes punishing Pain Wheel. Burst. Alpha counter. Good use from Chuck. Going straight into uh, the uh, E-break. The cancel out of his beat extend. A-train again. SSJ is going to connect. Oh, and then able to convert off of it. Oh, going to try to rush in. Dropped it at the last second. And the, the George actually hit uh, the, the head. <laughs> All right. Going to burst out here safely. Brash, just let Just do it. This Chuck is, is definitely... <laughs> he, he, he is just doing it right now. A train. Nice. Connects with the George. Oh, and. Okay, smart, smart. He, he did uh, stand hard kick. Able to push the head away from him. Oh, Chip's gonna do it. Alright, here we go. Madlock Holmes does have five meters. He's gonna do it. He's, oh, but he didn't do it. He, right, he messed up the level five. He wanted to revive a character. He, he was just a, a pix or two out of the range. Now he just used up all five meters for nothing. No meters is down to just Valentine. This is definitely in Chuck's favor right now. Chuck is all the... Oh, okay. Got the hit. Oh, it dropped the combo. Battle has got to do a lot of work. Yeah, it's only 22 seconds left on the clock. Oh, air grab. Item drop. Going right to Argus Agony. Not going to mess with it. We're gonna, we have a bracket reset. 
Chuck with the win. Resetting the bracket. All right, we are now in a we are now in a new set. Scores have been resetted. It is 0-0. Zero, zero. Malak Holmes is in the losers side. Now we're going we have another 3 out of 5 sets. Winner of this set will be the winner of tonight's tournament and $10. It may not sound a it may not sound much, but you know, 86. They they throw some some good stuff at you sometimes. <laughs> I should say all the time. I should say. <laughs> I should say all the time. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, now Madlock Holmes changing to his Eliza team. Let's see how this goes in favor for him. Right now, it's looking like it's not working out. Chuck. Starting off where he left off in the last game. Okay, throwing out the needle. Oh, good com confirmation from Eliza. Alright, DP. Right, oh, able to burst out safely. Okay, trying to go for the steward there. Ends up not getting hit. Okay, M Shadow. Yeah, definitely uh, Chuck is flying over the setup that Matlock Holmes wants to put him in. Alright, DP trying to go for the air grab, but gets hit by the uh, air grab super from uh, Paymo right into Argus Agony. Peacock is now in for Chuck. A uh, nice hit confirm. Able but not fully convert. In comes uh, Fukua. Oh, got hit by the M Shadow. Malak Holmes going with the overhead. Got it. Okay, able to burst out safely. Doing some little damage on Big Man before he comes out. Good block on the low. We should get that hit. Oh my god, he's beating up on Pain Wheel. <laughs> nice tick grab by Chuck. Rise to Argus Agony. Is he gonna DHC? No, keep her in, in, in front. And also, item drop right on your head. Snap, bring in the Eliza. The, uh, the Egyptian. Oh, it's gonna be punished. Yes. Going right to Argus Agony. Item drip coming in. Nice, the anvil right on top of her head. And that's gonna be, oh wait, no, yeah, not yet. Bursting out. Oh, in time? Oh, the item drop actually might have, um, I don't know, that, that might have actually interrupted. Hmm, interesting choice by uh, by uh, Matlock Holmes. Regardless, got the hit, down super, right into DHC. Cat into Eliza. This is going to be a dead character. Goodbye, Peacock. All right, in comes Band. Oh my God, got the hit on Misfortune. Okay, good blocks. Twenty-six seconds left on the clock. Got the hit off of the Pain Wheel Assist. A Train. All right, keep. Oh, and then dash up grab by Big Band. Can he convert this? Oh no! Dropped the last part of it with the DP right into the super best friends forever. 14 seconds left on the clock. It is still in favor of Chuck and Plasma right now in the, in health wise. Oh my God! Not in time. Install. Make it safe. Trying to go for the low. Did not get it. The fireball connects. Oh, got hit by the M Shadow. Oh my god, Malak Holmes, can he convert this? Got the burst, but unable to get the kill. Got the hit, and it's gonna go down super. And Malak Holmes with another squeaker. Got the win. Also, shouts to uh, <laughs> Slap, Slappy Meats, uh, Insta Hutch, and Little Zump. Uh, the, for guys who don't know, um, uh, they're part of uh, Half, Half Empty Energy Tank. Uh, pretty freaking awesome. Uh, they're a really cool group. Uh, so if you can go check them out, they're actually hosting a um, a charity uh, Mario Marathon this week, starting on May fourth, uh, called Cinco Cinco de Mario. Um, they're raising money uh, for charity uh, and doing a I want to say a two three uh, twenty four hour stream on their channel, which is Twitch TV slash Half Empty E Tank. Uh, so stop me and that you can go tweet that or uh, put that in the chat. You're, you're allowed to I'll give you permission uh, But anyways enough of that back to the match we go 
Um, so Malik Holmes again. He's been sque oh, a nice burst bait. He's been squeezing out these wins in some of these matches. Oh, nice e break by Band. Gets hit by Horus. Oh, caught him with Horus and did not convert. Oh, the jumping light kick connects right into a full combo. Chuck with the conversion. DP. Jumping light kick. Can he convert this into. Oh, okay. Gonna uh, burst out of there. Just do it with the brass. Oh, level 3 wake up. It's gonna get punished. Yeah, it is a dead Eliza. Alright, down goes Eliza. In comes Fukua. Oh, nice punish on the brass. Alright, what? Can, okay, gonna burst. Gonna keep the pressure on him. Oh, nice punish on the normal SHJ. Gonna get the conversion here off of the pain wheel assist. Nice. A train. Okay, good block. Tick grab. Nicely done. Alright, right into the DP. And that's gonna be a dead character. Goodbye, Fukua. In comes Misfortune. The double jump in neutral ends up getting hit by the overhead. The unintentional reset. This is all Chuck right now. Has four meters on deck. Can he get this kill? Oh, nice conversion. Okay. No, oh, wow, that E-break going right towards her. Gonna get punished here by the spike. Down goes Big Band. In comes Pain Wheel. The jumping hard punch misses. Okay, good blocks. Oh, the jumping hard punch connects by Pain Wheel. That's gonna be a dead character. And we are now tied. One, one apiece in this loser's uh, bracket reset. Also, thank you, Hutch. It's actually a 48-hour marathon. Okay, gotcha. So, yeah, guys, definitely check them out. They're going to be doing it uh, May 4th. So, definitely check them out. We'll, we'll be hosting them on our Twitch channel for sure. Um, but, yeah, awesome, awesome crew. Also, thank for the host. Okay, awesome. So, uh, we are tied 1-1 one, one apiece. We're going to find out, which now becomes a 2 out of 3. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching tonight. Uh, this has been a great uh, tournament for tonight. I enjoyed what I've seen so far. And Malak Holmes is sticking to his Eliza pick. Alright, here we go. Wow, starting things off. Eliza with the stand hard punch ends up being punished by Brass into uh, Argus Agony. Oh, <laughs> Ends up getting uh, punished. Alright, good stuff by Malak Holmes. Okay, right into the DP. Nice tech. Alright, throwing out the different hard punches. Good, good blocks. Caught him with the normal. Mal uh, Malak Holmes with the pressure on Chuck and Plasma. Got a burst? Nope, no burst. Oh, nice PBGC in the bang. Oh, but the projectile ends up trading. Oh, nice hit, but Don can able to confirm. Going right into the fireball, make it safe. Nice slide. Oh, but the George is able to mess it up. Nice punish for Argus Agony. Chuck on point with these punishes versus on uh, Matlock Holmes. Trying to hit bang again, not in time. Gets hit by the command grab, and down goes Peacock. In comes Pain Wheel. Good blocks. Oh, got the hit off the launch. Can burst? No. Oh, caught him pushing a button. Good blocks. Oh, the jumping hard punch does connect. Pain wheel putting Fuku through the pain train. Shrek and Plama, cute shoes. Oh, okay. Uh, he still got the kill. I'm assuming that brass was supposed to hit. Alright, down goes the character from Malak Holmes. In comes a fully healthy misfortune. Got the hit with the jumping light kick on the way coming down. That's going to be a dead pain wheel. In comes uh, Ban for Chuck and Plasma. Comes in swinging with these symbols. He's in the corner. The head is out. Got hit by the low. Very, very bad position right now if you're Chuck and Plasma. He's got a level 3 on deck. If he needs to use it. Got hit by Horus. 
faster than the normals. Caught him with the, with the air grab. Alright, this is Chuck's chance. Can he make the comeback? Oh, the head ends up hitting him as was throwing at the jumping hard kick from Ban. Big punish here. Messed up the combo. 22 seconds, 7 o'clock. And again, the punish on the jumping hard kick. This is going to be a dead ban, making it 2 to 1 for Matlock Holmes. We are down to our potential last match. Matlock Holmes is one game away from taking tonight's tournament. Chuck is still in this. He needs to win one to tie it up. To keep himself alive in this set. As we see in our instant replay. Guy, punishing the jumping hard kick with the command grab uh, Nom Nom's head. Um, did not just work in his favor every time he tried to throw that. And again, good punish by Malak Holmes and recognizing that he was doing that. Able to get the kill here. Level 1 to level 3. We are now down to our potential last match. Malak Holmes is one game away from ending tonight's tournament and Season 5 of Monday Night Blockbuster. They're right now is looking all Malak Holmes right now. It would have burst out right now. Has Peacock in the corner. Nice hit. Oh, dropped the combo. Caught him with the projectile. Did not get the full conversion. Brass able to clear her back to the other side of the screen. Good blocks. Oh, caught him with the jumping light kick. Malak Holmes. Nice conversion. Stand hard punch right into the DP. Oh, able to get the reset off the jumping light kick. And down goes Peacock. In comes Painwheel. Oh, wow. The, the armor unable to... Oh, he dropped the combo. That exchange was in, in favor of Malak Holmes. Still got the hit. Malak Holmes put in the pressure on the Painwheel. Going for the air grab. Didn't get it, but still caught him with the low. Malak Holmes is getting everything that he wants right now. Stan Hard Punch or Cyrus Power right to level 3. Wants his character out of here. Bring in Ban. Here it is. Last character. Last chance for Chuck. PBGC stand jab did not work. Oh, the, the very edge of the jumping light kick connected but unable to fully confirm. Liza with the hit. All three characters left for uh, for uh, Matlock Holmes. Did not burst. No punish on the brass. Good blocks. Caught him with the overhead. Gonna burst out here. Chuck and Plasma does have 5 meters. Oh my god. Oh, caught him with the grab. Wait a minute. Is he going to make the comeback? Chuck's got a lot of work, but if there's any character that can do it, it will be Big Ban. Especially armed with 5 meters intact. And no meter required. Saving it. Okay. Oh my god. Fukuo now in. Oh, caught him with the overhead shadow. And that should be it. Level 3, ladies and gentlemen, Matlock Holmes is your winner for episode 12 of season 5, season finale. Congratulations, Matlock Holmes, on winning tonight's tournament and winning uh, the $10 voucher that I will give to you after the tournament's over. Or after the stream is over, I should say. Um, so, with that being said, end the tournament. Here are your final results. First place was Matlock Holmes. Second place was Chuck and Plasma. Third place was uh, Dagwood. He's he, a different name on here. Um, fourth place is GR Morhan. And tied for fifth was Ninja Razor and first name basis. Thank you everybody who showed up today. Not only for the stream, but for people who entered tonight. Uh, very much love. And because, the, because of that, nobody... Nobody qualified for tonight because of the results of tonight. But here are the following people who are going to be in the, uh, the, the Night of the Asylum 2. The big event at the end, end of the season. So it's going to be Malak Holmes, who we just saw. Donnie Beaky, NAP Pleasure. Uh, RT, Real Heart. Chuck and Plasma. D-Money. GR Morhine. Sparks. Zeddy Beat. Shoya Ramen and Shuckle. These are the guys who have been the, who have made the grand finals this past season and are going to be in the big invitational. So you're going to see these guys again that we saw in grand finals in the big event at the end of the season, which will be discussed, tweeted, and probably posted up um, pretty soon, pretty soon, pretty soon. So um, I will keep everybody on tabs on that. 
Um, also, while I had the chance, uh, as I promised, anybody that followed this Twitch channel who put in uh, donations, hosts, or whatnot, oops, I almost took off the entire mic. Um, <laughs> I will shout you out, which I'm doing now. So, again, uh, shout outs. Thank you for Victor uh, Victor Dash three six seven for the follow. Thank you, Smashy, for the follow. Thank you, uh, Oni uh, Oni C H underscore N. I'm gonna assume that's Oni Chan. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow, and thank you, the Freed Mason, for the follow. Uh, also, I gotta fix my notifications because you saw like two of them go at the same time. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, this was really cool. I, I enjoyed it. Um, I'll have this up on Wednesday uh, on the site, and then Fridays I'm still working on that with the YouTube uh, version. Um, so regarding Night of the Asylum 2, the big event that I'm hosting, um, of all the people who qualified on the past season, um, so I will contact all the players as soon as possible. I will find out what time and date it works best. I know that Combo Breaker is coming up relatively soon this month. Um, so if anything, this might be a primer for Combo Breaker, um, for those who are going to Combo Breaker, which I think most of the people who are, who got invited are for the most part um so once i get a date and time i will announce it on twitter on on uh, our skull girls and on er everywhere i can post it on now let people know it's gonna be on twitch.tv 86 it's gonna be streamed on that channel and there will, will be prizes provided by 86.com uh in the form of um, prize vouchers or uh t-shirts or keychains whatever they may be the case there will be there will be prizes and it's a winner take all tournament uh as always so, again, thank you very much, everybody. Um, that's going to do it. <laughs> I'm hungry. So, um, with that being said, uh, thank you very much. And uh, this has been another episode of Monday Night Blockbuster. Thank you.